Uh, we're back to the juiciest show on the internet. We're back. We're back. Here. With the four smartest, most emotionally intelligent hosts of all time. My name is Wu Talk. Jeremy, you go since he's, his mouth is full. Oh, my name is Jeremy. And my name is Esther. My name is Vitrap. And we are sponsored by Nectar, Nectar Hard, Hard Juice. Oh, Hard Juice. We are sponsored by Nectar Hard Juice. That's different from a seltzer. New product. And by the time you hear this, it is now out in California. Every single Whole Foods, Total Wine, BevMo. We're also in Hawaii, all over the island. And we are also in Texas, H-E-B. So we heard a lot of good feedback so far from everybody that's tried it. And if you get your chance to try it, please send feedback to our number. It'll be linked in the description and fill out that form. We can tweak it, make new flavors, whatever you want. I am your slave. Anyways. I love the hard juice. Yeah, it's if you delicious. like uh, if you like sweeter, more more, you don't really you're not a calorie carrying kind of person, you know, that is still uh, got low calories compared still, to still juice. lower than most juices. Yes. But you know, it's not a seltzer. And yeah. if you don't with seltzers for those reasons, then you'll probably like this. More rich, more flavorful, and higher ABV, which means you'll get drunker and you might overdrink, which means you need super bonsai. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We're just going to get into the episode. Also, I'll no carbonation. I'll tell you all about it later. No carbonation. No bubbles. No bubbles. So for all you... Uh, the bubble did hurt my throat. <laughs> uh, you could chug it easy. Hurt my tummy. Hurt my tummy. Anyways. Well, how was your guys' this week? You guys were doing shit without inviting us, so oh. what the what you do- oh, what you, you doing? were doing something without us. What was your... <laughs> 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 what? Oh, you don't know the joke you're making? Well, what's... How am I going to invite you to what I was doing? Huh? What joke were you what making? What joke were you making? He <laughs> wasn't even making a joke. Wait, what did I'm you just, gonna... I'm just saying that he was also doing stuff too. And like, we weren't invited oh. to it. <laughs> but how am I going to invite you to that? <laughs> yeah, I know. For a double date? You don't even want to be there. <laughs> trust me. Oh. He's, <laughs> he's like, you didn't want to have to do that. Yeah, Look yeah, at the pain. <laughs> I'm not understanding. All right. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Anyways. What you guys do? You guys went to uh, some fair, right? Ooh, the fair. Oh, yeah. 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 What the fuck is that? Yeah. I what do you mean the? F- you don't know what the. F- I, is the Orange County fair? fair. I had to. I, I do. Uh, oh, the OC fair. I had to deal with my boyfriend taxes. Boyfriend taxes must be paid. Oh, uh, yep. Yes. So. All I want was to go to the OC fair, and that's what he did. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Boyfriend, <laughs> boyfriend taxes. What is boyfriend taxes, Esther? I mean, you know, sometimes you have to pay your dues. Uh huh. Like, you <laughs> know, he's. You have to hang out with me? Yeah. <laughs> no, not hang out. Is it, is it so wrong for me to want my boyfriend I'm to hang out? I'm on your side, sister. Yeah, no, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, this man's so busy. You guys all know that. This he guy. works so, so hard. So, so you know, once a week, we like to go on a date. And <laughs> I guess that's boyfriend tax. Nope. It's not boyfriend tax. That's what's, not what's boyfriend tax. What's boyfriend taxes? Boyfriend tax is sometimes you have to do things that you, like, oh. a date is, like, something you mutually want to do. You know what I'm saying? Go out, eat, some yeah. shared yeah. info. Boyfriend it. tax is, like, you got to do something that just sucks. Yeah, yeah. That you just don't <laughs> he, like. He doesn't that like it. Like. He doesn't like Orange oh, like, County fair. fair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not what, into, what like, not fair. Like I don't like Disneyland. I don't like, I don't like the fair. What do you not like about it? It's crowded. Um, uh, hot. What? Yeah, hot, hot walking. Not your walking. computer I where you're working. Yeah. <laughs> also, also, hey, terrible macros. Oh, yeah, be gross. Re- Everything's yeah, deep seed fried, oils, fucking seed corn. oil. You'd be freaking yeah. out. Hey, you starches. You'd be complaining the whole time. Yeah, that's yeah. why I don't go. Not because no, there's no woman that wants to go with me. But <laughs> <laughs> I will say, though, it was a pretty cool experience. I've met, like, they had, like, the biggest pig I've ever seen. It probably a live like, one or like live one, live oh, okay. one, live, live livestock. What was there? <laughs> <laughs> it was right there. Well, it was right why there. would it be me? <laughs> I was, I was like desperately trying to figure out who else I could say, but there was no yeah. one. Um, yeah, it was. It, you know, it was. It was cool. It was cool. Uh, they had llamas. We pet a llama. Oh, oh that's yeah. pretty cool. You guys yeah. didn't look at my um, Instagram no. pictures. Wait, what? what what's <laughs> wrong busy. with you guys? You guys I've been don't. Sick too. You guys don't like. It just didn't come up with a thing. Get your on? SEO right. No, your notifications should be on when oh, I post. Yeah. Yeah, wait, I support I you guys no all the time. Do you guys remember that's when Instagram true. introduced favorites and just nobody uses it? I don't use. It. I don't ever use favorites. What's favorites. There's yeah. favorites on Instagram. Like you can choose people you want to see in a feed, and then only they, and then you switch to the favorites feed, and then only they show up. I've never oh. once used it in my that life. That was a thing. That's kind of cool. They <laughs> just announced close friends live streaming. Yeah, I've seen. Whoa. I've been, that's gonna be. I've been seeing people do that's that. Gonna yeah. be, imagine you're at a party. That's straight. Like, <laughs> oh, like you're would right, it not be? Like, what, or you're right. They, you're absolutely they right. That? That's like OnlyFans. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, no, I feel like they would still block like. Yeah, content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess yeah. it would be like like you could. 
like imagine streaming a party. Like you don't uh, want to stream a party because everyone's too much of themselves. Yes. But you could. Hey, you pay a hundred dollars to be on my close friends list. You get mm, to be at the party. Wait, true. people pay for it. Yes. No, well, you can. There's models that people can pay to be on a close friends list. No. Yeah. yeah th there's gonna be like mastermind guys that are like, you know, join yeah. my close friends. Here's what you're gonna get, yeah, and yeah. and you're gonna see my private streams. Also, um, they are like OnlyFans girls already do that. Like, I see a lot of people streamers do that. Isn't there? There's also subscriptions on Instagram. So I feel like you could probably. Mm, wow. I don't know if they've released that feature yet, but you could probably link it. When I was a sinner, and I think I've told you guys this before. Maybe you guys. When you were a sinner. Oh, no, sorry, not a sinner. When I wasn't Christian, okay. I'm always a sinner. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoa. I'm not a sinner. Bold I'm, claim. I'm a, I'm a sinner, but I'm clean. But anyways, okay. who cares? Yeah. It's not the point of this story. But when I was not a Christian and I was still in the music industry, I had this idea and I have the PDF document with the timestamp of the day on it. And it was called X Chat. And what X Chat was, was at the time, every single girl, like, or whatever they had their it was different cam sites that they used. They were getting banned off Instagram, whatever it is. It was mm. like, imagine social media with a paywall. Because mm. all of them is like, oh, you got to go. So you came up with OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> with a live streaming component. Because OnlyFans they were all has streaming. live streaming. Yeah. yeah, before OnlyFans came out. Is it free? Okay. What's up? Is it free? XChat? Yeah. XChat would have been Why free on the not front. Why would be XXX chat? Because then nobody would, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, too, it's, too, it's too, too on uh, the nose. Yeah, like yeah. why is it not free? And I wasn't going to make it up. It was like, I was going to obviously, it's marketed as for creators to have subscription. And also at the time, everybody had like cams, but you have to like set up a cam in like a light. It's like, why not just stream off your phone? Mm. So Jeremy wants to prove he, he made OnlyFans before. There was I only had X chat. <laughs> I don't want him in Omar. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, is that all you guys did? OC Fair? What, what do you mean? That's all we did. The, OC Fair is huge. Yeah, I mean, that's like, well, he that's said all you he, did all weekend? He said he didn't see your Instagram picture because he was sick. Why'd you get hey, sick? Hey, pop up the pictures over here of me with the llama. That was fun. That was the best Oh, actually, time I did life. see those. Yeah. I liked it. I like first oh, yeah. liked it. Oh, you wow, liked you it? didn't remember. <laughs> You don't remember well, that he liked it. Well, I have 139,000 yeah, followers. I don't know. Oh, I don't look at you. Whoa, cool guy. I'm not, I'm not over here like, oh, Vid liked it. No, right. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, now nah, that's why I don't like anyone's <laughs> because they want to appreciate anyways. it. Yeah. But, uh, oh, happy birthday to your mom. Yeah, oh, yeah, happy birthday. birthday to your mom. Just passed. Um, we missed I, I was extremely busy last week. Just um, streaming, falling in love. <laughs> All right, explain. You fell in love this week. What happened? Should we? Tell, tell to, the story from the beginning. Yeah, I'm trying to think girl? how to, how to, where to start it from. Yeah. Can I just ask you something? Does she watch this? Oh, Probably not. Oh, okay. send this shit to her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's get so I don't know who I am. Um, so there's this girl that, I don't know if you guys have met her, but we, we both know her. Mm -hmm. uh, Where'd you guys meet her? met her? How'd you guys both meet her? I met her at a, at a party, like a North Star Boys party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's also when I first met her, but I had DM'd her back in... October 30th, 2021. Oh, and we talked for a little she's bit. She's yours. <laughs> Not yours. <laughs> Regardless. Damn uh, it. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we, but that was when I was still back in Iowa. She was in uh, wherever she's from. When you were on house arrest, you had randomly DM'd her? Uh, that was right after I had gone off. And I was just That's like. That's crazy. I, just I, random I was, girl you found on the internet. You just, like, you guys had no mutual connections. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay, I, I wasn't well, sure of, like, the influencer world. And... She's Asian. She is an influencer. <laughs> oh, I got it. So I'm, yeah. I'm assuming that's how we found each other. Got it. Um, but, yeah, nothing came of it. Moved to L.A., been living in L.A., seen her around, blah, blah, blah. She got a boyfriend a year ago, probably, and cried in Wutox arms. <laughs> <laughs> he he <laughs> no, cried in mine. <laughs> We could we comforted each other. Um, Let's just say regardless. her boyfriend betrayed her. Yes, and then uh, and he was a man with filthy drip, filthy okay. drip, like crazy drips. A week before the, the news came out, I was literally texting him. I was like, "Dude, her boyfriend's so drippy." Like, yeah, yeah he's like a fashion. I was influencer. blazing. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. And um, yeah, so that happened, and then she posted on her stories just selling all his shit, right. So <laughs> immediately your prayers were answered. Yeah, immediately I was like, I'm buying all this. Literally the day after he was like being like, bro, his drip is crazy. Was like, hey, his clothes for sale. I'm basically giving it away for free. We also talked about it here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then so I tried to buy, but he's um <laughs> fragile. Let's yes. say, yeah. So <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't fit any of the. 
I was like, what size is that jacket? Small. I was like, what's the measure? And I look up the measurements of small for that brand. I'm like, bro, this is like a, this is like a toddler's jacket. No, but no. thankfully his feet are the same size as mine. So I found in the pictures, I was like, there's no way those are the New Balance. I'm a Leon D uh, Dior. I don't know how to say the brand name. I'm a Leon Dior collabs that I've literally been looking at for like three years being like, damn, why is it $500? Wait, I'm so not spending was it? $500. And I was like, how much for those? $80. Wow. Bum, oh, bought it right on the spot. And it was? And it was. The They're ones? the real ones. Oh, They're wow. dirty. They're like not clean, but like. You could get them clean. Not exactly. Hey, but that's only $50, hilarious. That was... I'll clean them for you. <laughs> no. hey, that's, hilar <laughs> that's hilarious that Wu Talk went silent. And he was like, boyfriend is fragile because if you said skinny <laughs> you'd be like you're fat <laughs> he's like Fra uh so yeah regardless um she came back i i i, I wait, wait, wait so now you guys are dripped out in her ex-boyfriend's <laughs> clothing i mean no all i got was the shoes okay <laughs> I, I, I bought like five shirts I he, bought, he bought his like wardrobe okay i spent so, like three hundred dollars okay so now you got her ex-boyfriend's wardrobe and did you see this next part coming what uh no not really like i had no intention i've always like been she's very pretty so it's like in my head it's like she is always a little interest um but i never really truly pursued it oh my god <laughs> um so is the ac on yeah, yeah. please oh, turn it up more it's freezing no i think you're just blushing i'm just <laughs> mad yeah. so i had her uh on my stream like i i just Go follow me on on, on Twitch at aka VitTrap. I'm live every night at 7 p.m. You get to watch Vit fall nice. in love with a new woman every time he's streaming. Yeah. Probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just had her on uh, on stream to be my little content partner. And then we, ju we just like immediately hit it off. Like, we told the same jokes. We I, I could talk to her and open up to her without getting annoyed or like... I like I felt no t I was happy to open up to her and I haven't had that in years oh probably like God. three four years bro mm. it, it took me by complete surprise <laughs> what was that <laughs> Wait, she's I'm loving the story <laughs> it's so adorable <laughs> it's um and I didn't I didn't make no move I didn't try to f I didn't even try to kiss her I didn't even like That's try maturity. to cuddle with her it, it's Wu Talk last is is I'm also, what? I, and finding the love <laughs> button, probably. Wait, wait, wait. So, so, what is what is the what is the date look like? I need to better understand what about this girl suddenly made you so comfortable. I truthfully do not know. I think it's we just trauma bonded, which um, uh, I had to I had to like little. There was a point where I looked at her. I'm like, we cannot do this, because one, you just got done with your ex. You need you need to heal. I'm gonna step away. Like I basically cut her off i was like i'm not talking to you i'm not in your life as your friend i don't want you in my life as my friend it's gonna make her want you more exactly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you um, thought he was doing that to be a good guy yeah. oh, I, I was i, I was i was it. thinking that i was thinking that no, but it's to be a good guy yeah it's, nah that's part of the strategy when nah. you like a woman because you got to show yeah. them you're a good guy no 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 i'm not on the same wavelength as him anymore i'm confused what <laughs> <laughs> it's just um yeah like end of the day bro she has to heal and bro it's i was i think this is a testament to how delusional i am when it comes to relationships i was after like the second day i was like running scenarios through my mind i was like if we're ever gonna date like you need to heal from like i need your ex to hit you up a few times so i know <laughs> you have it completely out of your system mm. you need to like work over your you need to open your heart again. You need to work over. You need to work out your trust issues. Like, what day was this? Day three or day two? Like probably day three. <laughs> Jesus. But it's bro. We we um after the first day, we just hung out like every single day, and it's I I try to stay away for the most part. Mm. But it was it was her hitting me up, um one or two nights I hit her up, and um she just does like I pay attention to like little sh and she does like every little thing right. Like, I walk slow. She slowed down without saying anything. Um, but <laughs> I was like, I was yeah. like, do you just? <laughs> That's like human behavior. Think, Bars on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she also like. I'm, I I know what you mean though. Very little thoughtful. Yeah, things. yeah. Extremely, you can tell that you can tell that she's thoughtful. like aware of her surroundings. Yeah, and like, um, paying attention to you. I had like some uh, some some jeans I was gonna throw away just on the ground. She folded it, made my bed, got water whenever I was coughing. It's just like little. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm. Dude, she's, she's super cool. But okay, so in how many years would you say this is, what, like a crush, your first crush? 
for uh, uh, probably like three years. Three years. It was damn. Exp- so even before moving to LA. Yeah. Ex- uh, I had like a slight one on on one girl, the girl from Miami. Mm. Um, but just immediately yes, realized. Yeah, is. just immediately realized you are just a dog human being. Mm. So I was like, Ugh. did that girl ever do the one the dog? human being did that one ever do any thoughtful things no nah, if anything that was more of me chasing her mm. and because at first i couldn't get her i think that's oh, what made me upset. she was just really pretty she was so pretty mm. i'm not gonna lie but um where was i yeah experiencing her was like um like it was like a breath taking a breath of fresh air for the first time in years it was it wow. was insane did you tell her this no <laughs> what, what did you tell her <laughs> he said <laughs> don't call me stay away and all no. her side of the story is like dude I folded this guy's laundry I got him water every time he's coughing no there's, <laughs> there's doesn't pick up my phone calls anymore we uh we talked about so she went back to she drove back to where she's from and um I, I did the thing where I just didn't text her didn't whatever and um I folded I was I took a like a two hour walk and then after I folded I called her cause she was sick too so um I called just with the intention of checking up on her, like, how you doing? And then um, basically just we were, like, both have mutual interests, but timing's just not right. Circumstances aren't right. Are you scared? Mm, Question. (laughs) How long? Do you have a timer waiting? (laughs) Like, if she's not healed by this time type Not necessarily a timer, just for... uh, Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about was... um, the only the, uh, a big phrase running through my mind lately has been like I believe in God's timing and the way I, I see it is like if we had tried to talk more four years ago back or was that three years ago back in 2021 I think who she was and who I was would have never meshed um and then as of right now like I I'm I'm so bi- I don't play FIFA anymore. By the way, it's I've been a month clean. Nice. Um, a month clean is great. Yeah. Uh, and it's my life is just like I'm solely devoted it to uh to I want to work. I want to work out. I want to eat. I want to improve. And I think at this specific moment, if I had poured myself more of myself into chasing her, it would have ruined everything. I would have lost everything. All the progress I've made. So I think a big reason is God's timing is just not right. And I have my own journey right now. I'm sick of all the big brands that taste like shit. So we specifically designed the perfect drink with zero sugar, only 90 calories, and no weird aftertaste. This is Nectar Hard Seltzer. We took flavors like lychee, Asian pear, yuzu, passion fruit, orange, guava, mango, melon, and we put them in 2,100 stores across the United States. We're major retail stores like Costco, Fred Meyer, Kroger, Target, Walmart, Ralph's, Safeway, and HEB. And you can find us in seven states, California, Hawaii, Oregon, Washington, Texas, New Jersey, and New York City. And lastly, if we're not available in your state, all you got to do is send requests to our phone number. And that number is 844-624-0991. Send requests to 844-624-0991. Thank you, everybody. Supporting the products truly supports the show. Yeah, no, so I had her on stream. We, I think the first day we you went. F- no, no. <laughs> we went to um, Saddle Ranch. That was honestly, that was the first time we hung out, hung out. Hmm. Like, I don't think we had really ever hung out. And immediately, just like chemistry. Um, probably due to the alcohol. We drank a lot. Top Golf. We also drank. These are multiple days? Multiple days, back to back. And um, she, uh, I gave her Super Bonsai. I made sure to give her it, made sure to show it on stream. And um, I remember her waking up the next day and telling me, like, holy sh**, like, you just changed my life. I was <laughs> yeah. like, I mean, she, I she was so older. surprised she texted me being like, I can't believe this sh- works, which is the normal reaction, I feel like. Yeah. If people take pills that they're like, oh, you're going to wake up feeling great, no matter, like, even though we just drank a whole bunch, like, they're like, this is, I don't believe it, mm-hmm. until you feel it yourself. And then you're like, wow, this is a no-brainer night and day difference. 100%. Yeah. Yep. But uh, anyways, yeah, you can get it down below. Hit the link in the description if you want more information. It's all natural ingredients, so it's good for you. It's not none of that like pharmaceutical shit, like Pepto Bismol, Alka Seltzer, none of that. You don't need. It's not taking Tylenol to cover up the symptoms. It's preventative. So obviously, preventing the the hangover is better than fighting the symptoms after they happen. So yep. hit the shop link. I swear to God, it works. You can use code UTI twenty for twenty percent off. 
Wow. Yeah. Damn. I'll do you one better. Use cold Esther, all caps. Actually, yeah, if you use code Esther. No, actually, the UTI money, <laughs> UTI code goes to UTI, actually. So but, use code but UTI20. Code 20. Esther gives me. <laughs> so we're turning off Esther's code. <laughs> Oh, come on, let me make some money. I'm yeah, just, you got I'm, it. I'm just curious. Uh, uh, when you talk about like God's timing, what if God's timing was that she came into your life? Could be. It could be. It. Yeah. Um. He's like, no thanks. No. no like, Yo, uh, chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Because you're saying like, oh, like you know, she just broke up with her boyfriend, yeah. and you know, I'm focused on my streaming career, and I need her to heal, so I probably am gonna like push her away, or I'm not gonna. Push not so her. much push her away, like. If not she, pursue it. Yeah, I'm just I'm letting her do her thing. Yeah, and um, I think that's the the most smart, mature thing to do in this scenario. True. Whereas, even a year ago, I probably would have said, F it, like, yeah, I'm gonna try to, yeah, like I I almost like a like a being naive. Like I can make you forget about him and fall in love with me instead. Mm -hmm. Now it's just like mm -hmm. I too If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Exactly. It's like yeah. if if you if I ever want you in my life as a partner and to be a healthy partner, I understand now that you have to be alone and heal. Bro, it's it, it's got me thinking about all the cheesy shit I've learned about like relationships and shit. like a relationship should be only when you truly love yourself and it's like a person coming in and pouring into a already full cup. <laughs> so it's like I just got to wait. He just thinks in like Tumblr gifts. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's what you said a relationship. Damn oh, it! I would put it on Tumblr. Yeah. Did you ever have a Tumblr? No, I don't know. Oh damn! I thought you were a Tumblr kid. No, I run my Instagram like a Tumblr though. Oh yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. What was also all the other crazy posts? How you were saying? That's just another byproduct of um, drinking for just, three days. No, just locked in. I'm just locked in. <laughs> yeah, you just get angry. Yeah, yeah. It's a byproduct. I'm trying to actively work on it. Yeah, but um, for the most part, it's it's good. Yeah. Uh, it, it's been going well. Uh, results. I've noticed a lot of results. Like my YouTube just got monetized very quickly, and each video is averaging like five k views already. What? With no promo, no nothing. Wow. Um, so. Whenever I feel self doubt, like I'll look at it and be surprised at the results. I'm like, just keep God going. shoving it in my face, and I just for some reason because of my self doubt, I just keep ignoring it. Nice. So I nice. just gotta go harder. I've also just woke woken up every single day. To, like I have to go harder. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Uh, my other question was, what would happen though if you saw that she was going on dates with other guys? You think that would hurt you? No. As yeah. Really? Genu right. Genuinely? Oh. As of right now? Yeah. yeah. Nah, we're still we're nothing. Okay. Like, yeah, true, but I guess. I mean, if you like somebody, though, and you yeah. have that level of connection and, mm -hmm. you know. Bro, it would, it would <laughs> hurt. It's not here. It would hurt my liar, It would hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, it would hurt my feelings. I'd be sad. This guy, of all, he's lying to you. This guy, oh. of all people sitting right here on this four panel, <laughs> is easily the most the most likely to be furious. <laughs> that, <laughs> I'm never talking about that again. <laughs> I, well, I guess because like, if, <laughs> what do you mean? You guess? Let's, hey, let's say, let's say, one day you pull up your Instagram, she's sitting courtside at an NBA game. Well, here's the thing: <laughs> if, if she went on a date right now, I would feel slightly cheated. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what, what did we just talk about? Um, uh, <laughs> she's like, I'm healing, but not if, you, if she's like, you if, don't want to clap. <laughs> <laughs> if um, I mean. I'm, I'm taking a step away so it's like she's her own person she, she has her own life did she want to go f like did she want to kiss you no <laughs> uh, okay so so you guys mutual, mutual, they, mutual they didn't bring it to even yes. that place yeah. okay, okay. it was solely just like we just talked about <laughs> Vic discovers getting to know a woman yeah. without sex <laughs> <laughs> um I think she's just also you know you know when you like you guys, when you break up with someone, do you get like disgusted thinking about kissing other people? Yeah, yeah. So Wait, I think what? she's going no. through that. Really? Oh, oh really? I'm trying to think of like every br like disgusted. Yeah. I wouldn't say disgusted. Yeah, no. I don't like kiss anybody. Maybe it's not like my mo. Yeah, like, it's I'm not, not like you're I'm like thinking about to, it. Yeah, I'm not trying to like make it happen at all costs. But it's like definitely not like. Oh, the thought of kissing <laughs> yeah. someone is disgusting. I, get, I, get disgusted. I don't get disgusted. I've also never been broken up. I've never been the party getting broken up with. So I, I, I think it would be different mm. if it was in that shoes. 
Oh, you're always the one breaking up with them. Yeah. Oh, so I was me. I was yeah. checked out a long time ago. Yes. Then then I make it ha- then I mm. work up the courage to make it happen versus like somebody who gets broken up with most likely has no idea. I mean, maybe they have an idea, but they're not ready. Like that that's so they're hard. More hurt. Yeah, so, yeah. So what, what was the thing so hard just told us like that person like if somebody breaks up with you or rejects you, that person just realized sooner than you that oh, you're yeah. not meant for each other. Yeah. Yep, yep. So if you, if you fully realize that and for me I'm a so it takes me like months <laughs> after I realize that to work up the the to like break up with She's someone. Like, ah, shut up. And he goes back. She's like doing some extremely like yeah. the, the thing I hate most that she does, and I'm just like punching yeah. your dog. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha. He he probably was mean to you. <laughs> wait, but so you're you guys didn't talk? Did wait? Does she know how that you had like caught feelings? Okay, cop feelings is a little crazy. What? This is basically what like, feelings oh, is. is a very you literally broad, just said term. you felt like a brush of fresh air. <laughs> it's the first time in three years. You oh, I have a little crush on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's a little bit of feelings. Cop um, feelings. Yeah. Cop feelings seems, seems like the lowest level. I'm not like yeah. okay. okay. Cop feelings yeah. is like the most vague way to put also, it. Also, yeah. I yeah, feel like she would know. She's a very very pretty girl, and she like knows. she has game. Like I yeah, I'm like, sure you I tried to hold her hand and things like that. No, no, she knows. I just told her straight up what my plan is. I'm like, I'm gonna give you a few months. You need to focus on healing. I'm gonna come back into your life. I'm making you mine. <laughs> what I like is yeah, so yeah, aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. They like I'm it. imagining like, his, his like what what you were saying, trying to hold her hand. I'm imagining Vic just like put your hand down. Did we hold it? Put your hand down, put man. Your, I'm like imagine him being like, "Is this okay?" <laughs> <laughs> like just not Vin at all. <laughs> Permission to whiz. Like I said, we we talked last night, and it was just basically a conversation of me telling her my intents and my plan, and um us admitting that we had mutual interest. Do you think that, didn't you say the healing process is probably like a good like six months? Yeah. Damn. You're willing to wait that long? I think it depends, it depends on, on the person. Yeah. The person, the scenario. I feel like six months is safe. It's I like feel like six fully, months is a long time. Cause I know it's there's a people, long time. Yeah, I know, but that's where I feel like it's safe. Three months I feel like it's kind of short. No, it takes, it's, like, so, it's so dependent on the person and scenario because the person that got cheated on, right, is like, 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 there's a level of like, it takes a long time if you need closure that you're not getting, I think. Like you get yeah. broken up with or ghosted or like what or like they die or like something, right? It's very much like, what, there's no <laughs> answers for Why you. Are you laughing Wait, for the person being broken up with? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, but for the, in the other scenarios, like this guy's actually a scumbag. It's a very quick turnaround time. Like you get it like, yeah, it hurts and you're betrayed. But it's like I know exactly what you are, and it wasn't anyone who I thought you were. So, hmm. yeah. Regardless, I'm. I'll, I'll play it mostly by ear, but like also kind of. But in that situation, it also kind of depends how into the other person you are. Yeah. Because then you're just running in cycles. How could they do to me? Yeah. And that could last a long ass time. It really depends on the type of person you are too. Because sometimes you, are, you feel yeah. like sometimes you feel like like you've been done dirty. Absolutely. Well, I got cheated on. I got over it within like a day. You also didn't really like that guy that much from everything. The you ex. Were, yeah. Yeah. The one that on me yeah. I, I genuinely liked him uh, yeah okay well everything I could you- I could have asked for 20,000 I asked for 10 <laughs> okay <clears throat> and 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 to be honest yeah like I was like it was it was I was very sad for a whole whole day wait but didn't you guys like not even like get physical yet at that point that's not true I never said oh uh, I thought I thought that was true <laughs> no, we were we were a month. We were literally a month in. I've known okay. him for a little. But that's what I'm saying. That's a month. Yeah, it's a month. No, but like we talked. Oh, about you fell huh? fell in love with this guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Oh, you guys, do you guys get re- uh, what's it called? Retroactive jealousy. What uh, in what in what sense? Depends like on it. how they talk about the other person. <laughs> that's true, I guess. <laughs> Ret- retroactive jealousy is when um your your girlfriend uh-huh. talks about like past experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like dating some guy who cheated yeah. on her and then for- forcing him to give him ten yeah. k. No, no, like, no. Damn, that, I that I'm like, thank God that didn't happen to me. <laughs> I've, I've realized like that's one of my big problems. And I, like, I have that. That's why I don't. I don't. I, I straight up tell women like, don't tell me about no past bodies. Mm-hmm. Even if he comes, pretend you didn't. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay, what about what about this? What if what if your girl uh, brings up a guy's name? Does that even give you? Does that spark something too? In, yeah, it depends on the context. Like, oh, okay, like, um, let's just say, oh, I I was at this store and this guy came up to me and like he was telling me blah blah, blah. <clears throat> like like, for me, it, it was like, let's just say Jeremy's talking to me, right? And it's the story. He's just like, oh yeah, and there's this girl. I'm like, girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I, I get like, I, I get, I get, I get that like, I'm like, what girl? And I start like sweating under my pits. No, you know? I would like, just ask her like, I don't get that. how I don't she get handled it. Huh? 
I would just ask her how she handled it, and then depending yeah. on her answer. No, not yeah. even, not even cheating. Not, not even what's called. Not even him hitting on her. Oh, it's just the name and the hell no. Like a, like a yeah, girl that's called mental illness. Asked, yeah, no, I'm well, not. I that guess far I have gone. it. Yep. Yeah, I'm I, sweating <laughs> under my pits now. <laughs> also. We make a lot of jokes where I pretend to like care extremely hard about like mm -hmm. minute things where if my girlfriend did it, oh, that's cheating, like that clip. I saw this one comment that, that pissed me off because it took it so seriously. Oh, yeah, I used to find the bartender guy attractive, but then, then the more I watch like clips like this, I just find out that he's really insecure and controlling and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what the f***? <laughs> you f***ing psycho. You think that I actually would consider that cheating? That's a f***ing joke. I'm joking. <laughs> He's like, come back. Give a fuck. <laughs> Please think I'm hot again. <laughs> no, I just hate Dude, I know. when these people. I'm like, yo, you. It's so clearly a joke. Like, I'm gonna. I have to say, I'm kidding now. After yes. everything I say, yeah. with the with the veer, we have to be careful because then I'll start getting angry. I love Lauren Hill. Yeah, yeah. that was my numbing. That was my uh, numbing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody even watched the full clip. If they watched the full clip, they'd go. Yeah, literally, oh. bro. Oh, oh. Well, anyways. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to say that sometimes we like to be silly and I like to overdo the oh I'm, I'm so jealous and we all do that. Yeah, it's like I thought it's it was improv. common sense. Huh? It's called improv. I thought it was common Mine sense uh -huh. that it would be obvious that we're joking, but some I guess it's not. So mm -hmm. please understand. PSA. Yeah, I actually want to know comment down below and be honest. How many times in the last month have you touched grass? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know because I, I just want to know if people are really getting out there. I do feel like the world I'll, is getting lonely. I, mean, I genuinely mean that. Work from home, whatever yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. And if it's been less than four times, like try to get out more often. I, you know, genuinely, I want to know. Swear to God, bro, I'm on this. I started going on walks again. Holy sh that shit is life changing. Yeah, he's like I going see out. IG stories, and he's like, he's like, yo, he's like, yo, he's smoking a cigarette. No, on he's a like, walk. he's like, oh my god, dude, he's, I'm outside. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's normal. It's good for you. Like, you, you don't, you know, people don't realize how good a 10 minute walk. Yeah, is. Yeah, 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 it's. Yeah. You guys see this new new phenomenon of run clubs? Yes, they're all just horny horny clubs. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. it's literally horny just. Clubs. Clubs. Yes. Yeah. But Wait, then what? but then whenever yeah. I see them, it's like an eighty to twenty ratio of like dudes to girls. More dudes than more girls. More dudes to girls. Well now because it caught on. Oh and, and now the guys are like, what do you mean a fuck club? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They're like, Wait, I don't have to be good at running? Wait, you mean you mean like that whole group of people that are just that, running, running. Yeah, yeah. they be too? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, so run not, clubs not are not so like short. Orgy, just like, oh, yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> While you're running, you chase <laughs> someone down. No, only, only, the, only, the, only the people who finish in the top 10% get to participate in the Bro, orgy. I, I was They're thinking, sprinting to the end. No, I was thinking, and, that's kind of creepy. The end, it's all dudes. They have sour on all the girls. Like, that's how it would be. If there's that many dudes to girls, and dudes are just faster, right? So you're going to only be Makes sense though. Uh, what? But the girls, the girls yeah. only. The real way it happens is, is that the girls only f the dudes who are the fastest. It's literally like <laughs> elementary school. Where remember yeah. in elementary school where the fastest kid always got the most girls? Yeah. No. You don't remember that? You don't remember. She whoever, was behind the bleachers eating Top Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. I mean, she had whoever, astigmatism. Who, she couldn't see. Whoever had the most food, I was like, hey. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Basically, My mama said I could have one of those. Basically, what run clubs started in cities, it'd be just like groups of people to go running with because yeah, that's what running's I boring. Yeah, you running's, do it with people. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's become like these things in like Austin, Texas, where it's like afterwards they have ice baths and saunas and you're in like social club. Yeah, yeah, and you're all sweaty oh. and then they have like healthy snacks. And everybody's and, and, just. And if you're going to a run club, you're probably fit. Yeah, fit, proper fit. Yeah, proper. With fit, probably attractive. Then add the running, you get endorphins. You just feel on top of the world. And you have that shared interest of like cardio fitness. Yeah. So, oh. so that's what I was gonna say is that like the world. You were saying the world's become so lonely. It has, mm. and like run clubs have caught on because everyone's like, oh, an excuse to meet people in real life. And that's and. Immediately, the number one thing it transforms into is dating. Why? Yeah. Because you're, no one's 65 years old hitting the run club. You have to be like young enough to like actually want to do a run club, right? There's also benefits to it. It's like you're getting healthy. It's yeah. better than going drinking, right? People want alternatives to like. It's definitely not better than one. going drinking. I've been thinking about yeah. doing one. A run club? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be dead ass. Bro. I would can, pay money to see so you, you run stream. a mile. You, you do it a run a club. You can run a mile without yes. stopping. Hey, yes. uh, write that down. Do that. Right after this, let's yes. go on a run. Light jog. I want to watch you run a, a mile. Jeremy, is it cheating if I join one just to run? It's cheating. No, no. And snacks? Okay. Oh. Because, a run because club now is, we a, just explained oh, that there's oh, an oh, 
But now there's a weird thing he that I may be joining because of all that whack. But in reality, I just want some snacks and like just you don't exercise. you don't want those snacks. You don't like those types of snacks. Yes, I like good snacks. I like. You guys think I can't run a mile? Yeah, that's yeah. how lowly you guys think of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't I think can't. you can run a mile without without stopping. Wait, well, like, how fast though? Decent <laughs> pace, like a jog. You, you like, just can't be walking the mile. Yeah, yeah. yeah I won't yeah. walk. You can't jog. Like it's just like a like running. Like oh, I can't jog. You can, no, you can jog, okay. but not like it, 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 it's got to no. be like a like yeah. a good pace, eight minute mile. He's doubting. I've heard about you in your soccer league. Nick yeah. told me all about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking eight minute. minute mile, eight minute mile, eight minutes is tough. Right, eight minute, yeah, eight, eight minute, eight and a really half, tough. eight and a half. Give me eleven. No, eleven is walking. Eleven, 11 is, is what I did. Eleven, 11 is so slow. Eleven, 11 is like a lot of walking though. You're stopping oh, really? to walk You're, a lot. Eleven is so slow. Nine is a is a. I will pace. run a mile tomorrow. No, ten. At nine, my gym, nine. and I will show you the. Uh, nine minutes. It's gotta be nine minutes or less. Okay. No, ten is fine. No, ten nine is, is nine is like you did it. You did it. Ten was my fastest ten mile is, in high school. One I'm, away I'm from cool eleven. Nine. Well, yeah, cool. Nine. Nine is fair. I tried to. No, I'm cool with nine. Yeah, nine. He's calling cool. me pissy. Uh, what? Pissy. Yeah, He's yeah, calling yeah. me pissy. I called you slow. <laughs> slow with bad lungs. I see you hit a vape every <laughs> single day. Wait, Jeremy, I day. can't run a mile. What are you? What are you saying? He's calling you fat. Calling you slow. He does call you me fat. fat. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> no. Calling you slow too. But why? What's wrong with my lungs? I don't smoke. You just don't. You haven't trained you don't them. Have the muscle, when do you ever like, train them? Yeah. In high school, also, <laughs> like a hundred years ago, now. soccer. When I play soccer on the weekends, that shit's just full up sprinting. There's no like pace to it. Most well, like, I mean, it's just it's just a reflection of your cardio status. Yeah. That's all it is. I'm not man. saying I have the you, best you cardio. I think it. I can run a mile though. Okay, man. We'll just. I've we'll always see. been a naturally gifted runner. Yeah, we'll yeah, see. We'll have, see. Okay. Okay. Just stream, stream yourself. No, I'll no, watch, you gotta film I'll watch. it, no cuts. Like that's put fine. Up your phone, <laughs> yeah, just go on live stream and yeah, we'll watch it. Put up your phone. I will do that. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. And film yourself running in nine minutes because you can tell from the timestamps of the video if it was nine minutes. <laughs> yeah, right? that's so. fine. I, I will just, film the whole thing. Yeah. I just I imagine truly the believe cuts. I can finish a mile in nine and minutes. Show it on if you're running a treadmill or, or uh, not, no treadmill's cheating because it moves you along. It I does. Also if you're tired, I also don't think it's accurate. Yeah. Treadmill's cheating because so it's I a just machine. Gotta run, yeah, run in, run around. Outside. Because now that's purely your body. How do, how do I know when I reach a mile? I, I'll, your- I'll literally take your address. You can go on Google. And you, can, <laughs> you, you can make a you can make a route. I'll just make okay. you a little route. All right. Yeah, around your address. All right. That's hilarious. Yeah. I just imagined when he uh, when you said no cuts, he cuts it and he's like floating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I've been running hills. That's like the best cardio. Yeah. You just run up a hill, just an uphill for like. What uh, hill are you running up? Like by here? Like? Yeah, there's like a park over there, Dodger oh, Stadium. It's okay. all hilly trails. Mm-hmm. And then there's a big ass hill where it's like a private neighborhood. And I just sprint that thing as hard as I can. Damn. Sprinting yeah. is good for you, apparently. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just doing to... it purely so I could f- like fight because I gas so mm-hmm. quick. Yeah, yeah. I gas super quick when I play soccer. Yeah. It's bad. If you run twice a week, it'll change. Yeah, you'll have more fun. I just got back in the gym like a week or two ago, like nice. consistently. I was uh, I was very on and off while I was trying to figure out the Twitch shit. What have you been doing on stream outside of falling in love? Has there been other things that's fun about it, or are you just kind of like? Mm, what have I been doing? It's Eating, just... <laughs> mm, playing games. It's so interesting. Like you have like a pretty consistent audience too now. Yeah, and they just like. Um, there's there's a few guys in there like four or five people in there that uh have donated <coughs> upwards of a hundred dollars. There's one guy that's donated like five hundred dollars. Damn, vamp, yeah. Mm. Shout, shout out, out vamp, shout man. out vamp. Yeah, yeah. So KBBQ um, on vid tonight on vamp. He lives in wow, Germany. Thank you. He lives in Germany. Oh wow. So if I'm ever out there, I promised him like I would see him. Nice. Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. Very cool. It's uh I think the the coolest part is like um like as corny as it sounds like a community. Oh, 100%. it's like like. If I was to start Twitch and have zero viewers, I think me as a person, I would not be able to do it. My ego would not allow me to do it. Oh, to have zero? Yeah, fall. yeah. Oh, cause As much as, like, I'm just being truthful. I don't think I, I would just find, I would pivot to something else and probably, like, try YouTube or something. Hmm. But um, it's cool to, to get on there and talk with them. And then, like, they get invested in my life. I ask them about their life. It's like, just having online friends. Nice. It's pretty cool. Honestly, it's amazing about like the streamers that started with absolutely zero yeah. oh, and yeah. then worked their, worked their way up. Because for me, too, I would have stopped. Like, 
after the first video if I didn't have any like viewers. But it's also I like the stopped. people that do that shit from zero, they're starting hella young too. Like what yeah. else you got to do when you're 17 and you, you spend all your time on the computer? Like, but still, it's like <clears throat> good for you. Imagine like, for if you're one of them that just like like Jinxy that just went ballistic. It's like you went from just playing video games in your family's house and now you're a multi 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 millionaire. It's just like makes no sense. Yeah. Well, I have a question related to your um, your love life. That you this was actually your question, but do people get sadder in a situationship, like a month long situationship? Let me say that again. Do people get sadder? <laughs> Why don't you say that again? Yeah, let me say that again. <laughs> do people get sadder when a month long situationship ends, or when an actual long term relationship ends? This was your question, and yeah. I'm like, that's dumb because definitely the long term, but you you think it's the short term. I think it's the opposite because the general consensus that I see um, online is that, mostly from women, to be honest, um, when, when, when it's a relationship, like a long-term relationship, they will have mentally checked out already by the end of the relationship. They went through the whole relationship. However, it ended, it ended naturally. So that... That chapter is fully closed in their books. For the situationship, probably they liked them more. Because it's like a spike of emotions. Yeah. And it's a bunch of like what it could have been. Yep. No. What no. The I understand. People what you, fall what in you, love with potential. It's exactly. Yeah, but it's like doesn't make you sadder. Like a whole... Everything you yeah. said there, like the same same okay. reason that you have more baggage and you think it ended, you have more reason to like think back on it. You have more memories. Okay, yeah, you have more things that are not closed. You have more potential for no closure. A month long situationship, no matter how obsessed I am, is still just a month long situationship. Okay, hmm, but I know, but sadder? I I understand where he's coming from. I think it doesn't make me sadder, but it makes me think of like, uh, like you fantasize about it. You're like, oh, I could have been like this, like, or or you're like. I know the potential is there and you just kind of um, yeah but potential versus you, like actually you actually stayed with I this person think for you years have more closure with the long term relationship when yeah. it ends not always well, not, of course not always but for the most part what was I gonna say also there's more likely that in a in a short term situation that like I mean, it's just, it, like, it, am I bugging? Like, this is such a has great, been, has, this, is, this makes no sense. No, I'm telling you, that's I, the I'm, general consensus. I, I, lean not more the general towards, consensus. I lean more towards him, but then as you guys are talking, I'm, like, trying to think. No, it's, it's, like, like, the one, like, it's like the one like, that got away, though. You know yeah, how that, a lot of people like That's like a like small me. niche, like, experience of that situation versus you stayed in a long-term relationship with somebody. We'll talk, if you truly no matter the long-term relationship, then I wouldn't be just a month-long situation with them. They would have stayed. Oh, 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 okay. What about in a situation where it's like it, like, have you ever like met somebody and then because like, let's say they they're like, oh, I'm moving at the end of the month, oh. they're gone, right? But it was like so nothing was really wrong with it except yeah, that those are time, those are that's, one that those got are, away scenarios. And those are sad as fuck. Those are one that got away scenarios. But is that that's, that's not a situation? And that's what we're kind of talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's but that's. We're, that we, okay, sad? Well, yes, is that it, not sad? That's sad. <laughs> but how and many? Can it be sad as that a <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know. How I'm many month long situationships? How many month long situationships are that exact scenario versus how many long term relationship ending are just like it's a long term relationship. You're ending a relationship that you were in with something with someone for let's say two years. Okay, let's agree on I this. I understand you. Yeah. I understand you. And it just like depends on the person, right? But no, like, okay, okay. Let's agree on this. If we, if we, if we <laughs> answered every question with depends on the person, <laughs> every question would get answered with depends on the person. Hey, hey, let's in this, this conversation, he said true. the general consensus. Okay. That was the point. The general consensus, right? I would have to okay, agree, with agree with him. You, that, you no, agree I with him? Hold on, hold on. Is that not a testament to how unique every person is? No, 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 no. What the fuck are you guys no, even no, no, saying? No, no, I agree. I think the general consensus is obviously a long-term relationship is going to be no, sadder. No, clearly not obviously. They're trying to argue <laughs> the exact hold on, hold on, opposite. Hold on. hold on. But we can say that there probably are cases where there can be a really sad situation ship that feels like it's sadder than being like from yeah, yeah, a long-term relationship. Yeah, there's yeah. certain situations. But it's rare. I'd say that's rare. That's rare. Okay, Nah. Can Where? I say? Can I just say something? Yes, say Every single one of my <laughs> no long term. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Every <like. laughs> <laughs> Every single one of my long like long term relationships, I was not sad after I broke up with him. I was sad for maybe like maximum a week, right? And and then I was just like, whatever. I'm I'm moving on. 
but that's because like you know i feel like a lot of girls check out before it actually ends and and for me i've never been broken up with i've always been the one to break up with the guys so like i was just like whatever right with this situation tip uh situation you know ship type of thing it's just like it was going well and then something just like you know like either i realize i'm like oh like i like him but i don't see going anywhere because of this you know because i'm being extra picky right then i become like damn like, did I make a mistake? I think about it more than when I left okay. the other guy. Regardless, that is your, the question was, what hap- what's like the more, what more commonly happens for the average person? For the average, he was like, the general consensus online is people get sadder when they leave a one month long situationship versus a long term relationship. Wait, who, who's, who was the one saying this? I just saw a TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's literally just making it up from, it was a it was from, it was a stu- it was a Harvard study. There, there was no study done. This is him making it up off of things he's seen online, right? No, I've seen it for months online. Okay, exactly. So for months online, he's Harvard seen it. study, and he's saying that this is this is the st- this is the norm. He's saying that most people get feel more sad over a short term situation ending than a long term relationship ending. Okay. And I'm not saying there is no scenario where you're not more sad when a short term situation ends than when a long term relationship ends. But yeah. to say that's the average, to say that happens more is completely flat out wrong, stupid and a lie. No, 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 no. And that is what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Vit, are you which side are you on? I'm on his side. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. For me, for me, I understand. I don't know the general consensus though uh-huh. i'm just saying that i understand where they're coming from what are, and you are i'm on his side okay and what about yeah. you i actually no, no 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 you don't have to agree with me because i'm i'm like oh i'm just ag- not agreeing with you're anybody. not even I'm you're just, not even disagreeing you're but that was my point i'm like we're yeah what like like the, the the question that was asked was what is like more common? I'm like and then I, and then you guys are saying oh but it could happen yeah it could that's not the question no I'm saying that I I understand why it would be like that is what I'm saying it's just it's it's not like that though but do I agree I don't know because I I need to talk to more people I need to do, do no. like a full on research about this no 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 I'm not gonna. Like, I'm gonna go in the general public no, no, I know, and no, say no, which no, one's. I, I know that. I was just saying, no, it doesn't matter. It's obviously. No, it's like, no, it's no, like. It, it clearly could matter it possibly, because. How could it possibly be the short term situation? <laughs> See, here? I will get that answer for you because you're so passionate about it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Wait, this, what were you? What were you gonna say? You you were looking at me after while she was talking. You're like, oh, I oh, some- I always hear people say like, oh, girls mentally check out beforehand. Um, Facts. Do you not think it's just because women are weak and refuse to leave? Uh, leave? Uh, facts. I wish I didn't stutter. No, I'm <laughs> no, it's um. I think we still. I mean, for me at least, I want to see the good and like continue on to see like potential. Like I hold on to potential, you know. And then I feel like I slowly start losing hope. And then once it's like, like at the bottom, then I'm like, you know what, whatever. I there's no hope now. Yeah. Literally, I hold on to pot- potential until like the very end, and that's why it takes so long. But I still like care about that person. You know what I mean? But that's not just a girl thing. Like guys do that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just a matter of who checks out first. Yeah. Not yeah. to who? not to overuse the phrase uh, the general consensus. Yeah. But I'm gonna use it. The general consensus online, on Twitter at least, is um, <laughs> I'm citing my sources now. No, no, yeah, just start saying Harvard study, Stanford yeah. study. No, no, is that women lying. will, as they're 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 realizing like this is not my man for life, they would rather stay and find another man mm. to confide in. Dirty, mm. dirty business. And there's, I'm not saying every woman does that. Do not attack me, but mm. most women buy into that line oh. of thinking. So while they they have the comfort and safety of a relationship yeah. they're already in their mind thinking who's gonna be my next that's cheating in case. and that's yeah. and that's where the boy best friend comes in the boy see that's best the thing friend. i don't believe in guy best friends so i'm just like oh no if i did that no like liking you know having a little crush on a guy friend yeah. then that's cheating that's, that's cheating, cheating. You well, know what do, you're doing would you guys agree that women check out sooner than men i don't think it's no or do you but do you also or do you think do you agree with that statistic that you've seen in more cases that a woman will stay in a shitty relationship? Person. It just depends. Yeah. I think. <laughs> nah, I don't know because I know tons of men that stay in yeah, shitty. Yeah, like, it's like, like, I think it's that one is not. I think conclusive. it depends on if you're a true yearner or not. 
A yearner? <laughs> What's a yearner? Like someone who yearns Maybe. for... <laughs> Did you look up the word yearner to me? Describe a yearner. <laughs> Lover boy. <laughs> it's an offset of gooner. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna. You're gonna try to coin a term and not explain it, man. Make us a clip. No, I'm not coining like yearner. <laughs> explain, uh, explain, what? explain yeah. what a yearner a looks real like. Real yearner. Uh, when you wake up every single day and she's the first thing that pops into your mind, when you see sunshine bouncing off the raindrops, you're she's who you think about. Oh, you're a yearner. When um when you hear birds chirping, it it feels like you're in a Disney movie and she's the she's who you think about. When you see <laughs> swans, I just rediscovered love again, he, guys. He be pretending like like he, like, like he feels. I'm not way. pretending. I just you guys have never met me while I was in love. You guys have just never seen this side of me. True. Nothing's that different. Yeah. Nothing. I, I'll be honest. Nothing's hey, different yet. Hell? Nothing's di- what? Hit? Oh. Him. Oh, about him. Well, I thought, you thought you th- I thought he was talking about Man, me. I was like, damn, chill. Oh, so you don't you don't hear birds? Oh yeah. Actually, how about we ask the people in love? What yes. was? How did you feel? What changed for you when you start to realize I'm in love? Um. Because we're talking about we're letting this guy try to explain to us. I don't believe him. What? Yeah. What changed? I started. I started like thinking more about the other person than myself, mm, and true. so I would s- start to make decisions. <laughs> I would start You're to right. make decisions that, like, uh, yeah, I'd try to think about the other person before myself. Yeah. All right, now, probably what, what about, fi- now describe it in, like, a pseudo-poetic sense like him mm. that doesn't actually say anything. Mm, okay, you know, I like... <laughs> The colors are brighter. Yeah, the wind, true. I heard it for the first time. Life like, was great until um, she came into my life. <laughs> yeah, you That's could, what I mean. Food was tastier. You couldn't sleep. You'd want to keep stay awake and think about her. True. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh yeah, that's so true. Sleep wasn't as important because I just wanted to stay up with him and talk to him like mm-hmm. literally all night long, and I was just like, "Oh, Very I have true. this important thing to do," but I'm like, "But it's I'm having." Sleep what about you? And you now were, you were like, sacrificing sleep to talk to her. Yeah, really. And then now I'm like, "Can we please sleep? <laughs> I'm trying to go to bed early." <laughs> that's true. I need my sleep. I'm trying to catch up on the sleep I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Everything I say about love is true. <laughs> It's, I'm not saying it's not true. I'm saying it doesn't really say anything. I got to I got to <laughs> Like they're all I'm vague. curious. I'm curious. You would only understand it when you experience it. <laughs> I'm but I'm, so I'm I understand you're very closed off right now. Oh my god. When you when you heal more, you'll, you'll start here, to understand. Bro. Trust I'm, me. I'm really curious to see what you're actually like in a relationship of somebody that you actually genuinely love. I am love. literally the well, I'm not Eddie Corner to be honest, but I Actually, stop- I, I guess I can't really say because I'm so different now. Do you stop tweaking on people? I can't say. It's, I'm so different now. Oh, so you wouldn't uh, know. I, I, <sighs> I assume I stop less now. I, I've stopped in my normal life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as like, bad. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I was so bad. bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I just I, I try to put them before me. All right. Well, we'll yeah. see. Well, I'm, I'm, we're happy for you. Let's see where it goes. Yep. Hopefully, it goes in a positive direction. <laughs> I want it to really end. Really, nothing now. Oh, I'm back at square one. Oh, okay. Well, in six months, three months. What? What was the timeline you gave her? Uh, no timeline. Just oh, okay. God's timing. Okay. God will send me a sign when it's time. You guys ever do anything crazy for love? Ah. Uh, What's the craziest thing you ever did for love? I've talked about this. Uh. Remember the army guy that I used to date? You moved for him, or no? Hell no, I wouldn't move. Oh yeah, you that, didn't be, move for him. Yeah, that would. That's okay. Yeah, no, I drove like two hours to see him mm. every like maybe like <laughs> maybe like every month or something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's it. Hey, that's relax, it. buddies. I, let me just tell you why. Okay. <laughs> He lived in Barstow. You know how oh my God, anno- yeah. like horrible Math Barstow capital is, of California. Literally. The what? Math capital of California. Oh. Why did he not drive to you? Oh, well, because he's in, he's stationed there. He oh, can't he's leave. not allowed to leave. He's not allowed to leave. So they have their own little, like, <laughs> they have their own little, like, town. They have, like, a movie theater. They have, like, a grocery store. They have, like, it's just a little ass town, right? And you can't leave. And, oh, they have their own gym. And once I'm there, that's, that's the only place I'm going to be at. <gasps> what? Sorry. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Okay. I'll tell it after this one. Yeah, and then so and then uh basically Scared I me. would I would hang out there for maybe like the weekend and he would be at work and then I would be I would be at home for like hours and hours. She wouldn't use the gym. She would just only go to the movie theaters. <laughs> I would Yeah, basically. I why would I gym? Um and then basically I would be like cooking food until you know and wait for him to come home and I'm like what am I a f- housewife, you know? But that's I think that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy, right? Uh, sure. I th- oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I sacrificed. I would hold my weekend, girlfriend one weekend. at a month. bare minimum would do that. Yeah, one weekend a month while like, I'm in the military, she comes and visits me. Yeah, like, it's like, like at that point, just break my heart. Like, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, leave my I would don't, say, don't let me cling to hope. And me. My girlfriend's going to come visit me this month. My one month did allowance. You, did you ever miss a month? Always. <laughs> <laughs> Always. No, that's diabolical. I would, I would say crazy would be like getting a, a tattoo of their name on your oh. throat or something. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I've gotten on planes. Okay. <laughs> that's like also <laughs> visiting your signif- <laughs> significant other. Wait, just for uh, Not like for a girl I'm talking to. Oh, okay. yeah. Nobody has a true lover story. I got one. Okay. Yeah. I was 19. I had crashed my car. It was in the shop. I didn't have a car. Uh-huh. For Valentine's Day, this was with my first ex before I found out she was a lying, cheating. <laughs> <laughs> was it before? It might have been before. Um, it had to. There's no way you're doing this after you find oh, out. Oh, no. Huh? If it, me back then, I probably wow. would have been after. Wow. I had nobody in this world. Um, <laughs> That's damn. Yeah. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, so I, I crashed. Yeah, I have you guys now. I crashed my car. Didn't have a car. But in my in my pre pre bu- pu- bu- in my young mind, I was like, I still have to make Valentine's Day special. This is my girlfriend. I went to U-Haul. <laughs> I was gonna rent one of the pickup trucks just to have a car to drive around, take her to dinner, dinner, whatever. You can rent a U-Haul at nineteen. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, um, they didn't. They were out of U-Hauls, so I had to rent one of the box trucks. <laughs> It was like an 18 inch box yeah. truck. And I was 18 driving, foot. 18 foot box <laughs> truck. 18 yeah. inch box truck is hilarious. So I was driving around with a big, like the, yeah. the big ass U hauls you use to move places and um, just use that shit for the day. And uh, we went to the mall. We went and got dinner. I made her take pictures of me in the U haul. <laughs> <laughs> what would have been super cute is if you had like a romantic oh. setup in the back trunk. Yeah, I should have. And like, then you drive out to like some kind of nature y and you just pop it open and there's like a, a fucking, mattress yeah, been, oh. <laughs> yeah <with> no <laughs> like no a lamp no like a, on one it. of those like fly buzzers <laughs> <laughs> good old iowa yeah no good i old, used to um i used to put hella effort into into dates and shit. what's yeah. the most effort you put into a date outside that's a lot of effort i think we're not talking about, oh okay we're talking about dates now no, just like just an extreme gesture of love. Um, when I used to work at a, oh, I remember one night. This is actually when we first started talking or like dating. Uh, I used to work at a sushi shop, so I ordered sushi, um, all her favorite, shit, and then got candles, got a blanket, got whatever else you get for a picnic date. Uh, picked her up, took her to a park, and they had a treehouse, and we ate dinner in the treehouse. Oh, that's pretty cute. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just thinking like... Uh, I don't want to hear yours. I have I have jealousy. No, no, no. I don't have anything like cool like that. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? He went to the OC Fair. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's so cute as... Oh, yeah. and you went to Disneyland with me. I'm not going to lie. I just don't like Disneyland. Yeah. It just, yeah. It just feels like... I mean, you're uh, a grown man now. It's, yeah, it's like... Just everything. They're just trying to sell you the whole time. Yeah, like, true. It's exhausting. Mm-hmm. Isn't that everywhere you go? Yeah, they're trying to sell everything to you. Too. No, Disneyland is very different. It's very like dystopian corporate America. Yes. Like you're just stepping in and you're like, whoa, I'm being like everything about this place exists to drain me of my resources. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's That's kind of like Vegas. That's Vegas. It's true. Yeah. <gasps> Did you hear about that freaking va- uh, woman? Uh, I don't know if it, I think it was Resorts World. Maybe I don't know. It was at a casino, but she won forty-two million dollars <laughs> off of like eighteen or something, <laughs> then, right? Yeah. Th- for, like doing like penny slots, and they were like, "Oh, it's a mistake." So they, <laughs> so nah. they gave her a steak dinner instead. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, I would have sued. No, no, yeah, exactly. Did she, she not win? Sue? 
no no i think Probably she has not. a. I think she has a lawyer but they were just basically saying that there was an error but it's like weird because when when the when the casinos steal money from take money from you it's just like gambling yeah and then when but when, but when, when you, you, you try money. to win it's oh there's a mistake in the system yeah. like you know yeah. i that would have that would have i would have been so upset yeah what i would have gotten a lawyer like what the hell yeah, yeah, yeah. i think I, she, I think she did that's I, I, she I, better I, have a fucking I hope lawyer she could win yeah. But I feel like if she, maybe it would work against her if she actually took the steak dinner. I if that oh, happened to me, weird... I I might take the steak dinner and then, <laughs> and then try to sue <laughs> after. But I think I think that would not be a good good case for me. Huh? <laughs> oh my god! I really hope you get that money, whoever you are. I know. God. All right. Well, now I have a little fun question. Well, before Ooh. that, if you guys have made it to this point. Make sure to hit like, subscribe right now. Comment. Comment on this next topic. Comment your thoughts. Like, we're going to ask a question. I want you to get involved. Comment down below so we know you're paying attention. And share with a friend. Yes. Send, send this to a friend who needs to become more emotionally intelligent. In less than 60 seconds, explain why I should invest in your company. We're Nectar, a modern Asian alcohol brand, and our first product was taking modern Asian flavors and bringing it into the hard seltzer category. How much money will you make? This year, we're on track to hit $5.4 million and we'll do 12 million lifetime and we're only in seven states. And how are you gonna keep growing? Unlocking the other 47 states, then going international while launching new products. And why do you think it'll be successful? Asians are now getting mainstream attention through media and culture and because of that, Asian food and flavors are dominating grocery stores across America. So what problem does this solve? The Asian flavor movement is still being ignored by the big alcohol industry, so we're gonna fix that. So how are you going to fix that in the next five years? We created a superior drink with superior flavors, and because of that, we built a massive community that believes in our vision as much as we do. We all want Asian flavors to take over the alcohol industry, and when we do, our community should win with us, which is why we're launching this crowdfund. I'm in. Take my money. Where do I invest? Link in bio. Before the next topic is... Uh is dating I, I just don't know is dating in other countries like pretty similar it's like dinner and like drinks or like is yeah. there like other things that people do no, that they probably more... have to sell cows to the families <laughs> <and shit>. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't i'm not really familiar with other yeah i mean countries. i've only dated in one country what are yeah. they doing like korea or... i've heard that koreans are now doing like 50 50 split sh <gasps> <gasps> she gasped what have you heard you don't hear anything like that oh, no i don't i don't know i don't i heard that because i well Anecdotally, I just seen like some TikToks talking about like a dating Asian men, and it was like this Chinese girl being like, "Yeah, Chinese guys would never let you pay." But I recently went on a date with a Korean, and he so casually was like, "I'll get these tickets, and you just like give me the cash later." And she's like, oh. and I was just like "Damn, that's I, crazy. I don't feel like that's how Koreans would behave." But mm. anyone who's dated in Korea or Asia in general, please comment down below the consensus. Yeah. Well, I know like but dating around the world. What are interesting dating practices if you've dated around the world? Mm, I'm interested too But yeah No Chinese men From what my friends Are telling me Are like They pay for everything And mm -hmm. I'm just like that. That's what they were taught You know yeah. As when they were younger But yeah Like I I say this all the time But I don't understand Couples that would Venmo each other For like gas Or for like Food And like drinks And I'm just like I can see that You mm -hmm. should at least Private at that Because now I, I like to check my Venmo To see what my friends Are doing And I'm just like That's this is, so like, nosy This is weird I think crazy. every couple's different No what, I'm, I'm not saying all of them But I'm saying that There are people like that And I'm just like Damn Yeah I, I mean It, it, it could never uh, be me Is what I'm saying Yeah up to them mm. But um Alright well Forehead kisses Everyone knows Forehead kisses Are very popular mm. And they're all the rage Nowadays Almost, They're almost, almost ended my relationship. I've been there before. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. They're very yes. divisive. Yes. So, They're but da one thing's for sure: all the women love forehead kisses. What are things that are forehead kisses for men? Oh, because a forehead kiss from a woman is nice, but it doesn't give me the same. Like it's not as hype as yeah. it is for women. Yeah, head. I like giving. <laughs> no, it's not. It's uh, supposed to be romantic. Cooking yeah. me a ribeye steak, sous oh. vide. That's a good one. Yeah, asking yeah. A, a nice hot meal. Asking you about my childhood. Asking Aww. to finish. Aww. Oh, giving me the rest of your meal when we're out to eat to finish. Because you're like, I can't finish it. <laughs> fat it's all fat. He's like, let me come over and eat all the food in your fridge. <laughs> Wait, that's a forehead kiss? Yeah, that's cute. It's like it's a like little a sign of affection. <laughs> okay. You know? I guess yeah. I can see it. Yeah, I damn. Think. 
You got you. Oh, should I yeah. turn this into me being fat? Because <laughs> <laughs> all three examples are food. I'm lower body fat percentage than you. Wait, wait. Did you guys see the tweet that's like? Whatever a man says big back, I'm like, shut up. That's not for you guys. That's for the ladies. You're just a big fat <laughs> <laughs> That's so that's true. Fuck, that's hilarious. That's so true. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Uh, another one is is when you're sick and they come and take care of you. Mm. Oh, that was that is one. that's the ultimate that's one. True. That's true. I feel like for for men, it's like mostly things that like make you feel taken care of. Mm. Uh, another one is when she asks you to open a jar. <laughs> hey, why he's looking like he's, like he's like that one really gets me. That one, that one's yeah. fire. <laughs> Do you guys approve? Yeah. Like, like, Wait, that makes you feel love though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's that forehead. Ki- you guys are not getting forehead yeah. kiss equivalent of a for a man, right? Yeah. So forehead kiss for women, they feel feminine, protected, love, like cherished. Yeah, cherished. Yeah. For men, it's what's a masculine feeling of appreciation? The exact opposite. Like I rely on you. Like I need oh, you for okay. strength. Like that type of. That's what rubbing, it is? Rubbing the back of your head. I'd say that, that probably goes yeah, for they, both genders. Yeah, like... Oh. Running, That's just like physical pleasure. Head. Like little mm. affections of physical pleasure. Mm. I'm saying more oh, from a masculine mm. point of view. What would give yes. you... You know? And that's why I said finishing, your, finishing your yeah. plate, opening a jar for you, that's reaching I, something that's too high if you're taller than them. Oh, yeah. Did it make you feel good when I said, can you get me a lemon off that tree? Cause no, because I'm, I'm too teeny weeny. Because you could yeah, have hey. easily gotten the lemon. No, 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 no. She's short. She couldn't get the lemon. But uh-huh. I wasn't like I wasn't like annoyed about getting uh-huh. the lemon. I didn't care about it. But I wasn't like, look at me, I'm a hunter. <laughs> no, you're, no a you're a gatherer. Yeah. I'm a gatherer. Honestly, es- Esther was busy hunting. That's why she had to go get, tell you to go get the lemon. Honestly, my I'm just like Jeremy, go get that lemon. Right <laughs> now. I'm gonna go kill this boar. <laughs> No, I, I, I didn't feel I didn't feel masculine pulling like, a lemon off of a tree. What about if she was like, what if she was like trying to put together a TV oh. or some shit? And she's like, Jerry, can you come help me? Build I'm a actually TV? better. <laughs> I'll be putting. I'm the one putting. Jerry's asking together. her. That's not true. Esther Wester, can Jeremy, you come I'm help me? She always thinks she's we, better at fixing. The I'm hundred percent better than you. I'm, <laughs> I'm dead ass. Like, remember when we did Legos? And he was getting everything wrong. He's like, I don't understand. This doesn't fit in this. And I'm just like, <laughs> Nah, I'm just taking my miss- time. I was like, You're missing a piece. We- what, what Lego thing were you building? I was building like a grocery store. Yeah. It was like a Lego grocery store. A Lego grocery store. <laughs> I was using it for like an analogy. Uh, yeah, I assume you were. I have a good answer. Yes. When she's driving her car, but she she's like, Can you drive? Oh, yes, that's a good one. That's that's a cute one. You like that? What? You, you like that? If yeah, I when she prefers you, you driving over herself. Well, yeah. For me, okay, I'm a little bit different than all the other guys. <laughs> He's a little sassy. I love it when she drives. And I gotta just, I gotta chill. Like, he wants, he wants my left arm to be on the wheel while the other arm's on his, <laughs> on, on his lap. That's what he wants. Okay. He does. He, does the, he turns his face. <laughs> no, um, I like to be like chauffeured. Yeah. It's kind of no, nice. He's sitting in the back seat. <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> Roll up the divider. <laughs> I selected quiet in Uber. <laughs> I think I think <laughs> I like to role play Uber. <laughs> I think it works out because I feel like I do a lot of like masculine masculine we things, y'all. Time. Women can do it too, but I'm just saying, you know. Uh-huh. Um, and he. What are, what are the masculine things you like to do? Well, I mean, I I mean there are times when when I drive, I open the car door for him. I'm like, lady. <laughs> Role playing Uber. What's the, what's Uber the, that's role playing Uber black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, I, spe- that's, I spent that's a little mu- extra money that day. <laughs> like, you know? it's just yeah. Is that a forehead kiss? Yeah, I'll that's, do it for you more often. Forehead kiss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you, I mean, you? I, it'd be nice if you guys got driven yeah. around. I'll do it for you. I like driving. I don't like being yeah. driven. I like driving. I call them sweet toots once once in, once in a while. <laughs> I'm like, you like that sweet toots? <laughs> that one is emasculated. I, gen- I, 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 I genuinely like do not like it when I'm with a girl and she drives because it scares me. I just assume they're gonna. Wait, not in a <laughs> not, not in an offensive way. Just like I don't like it when anybody nope, else nope, drives. Nope, he meant yeah. it. Yeah, he meant yeah, it. He women can't women drive. Women can't drive. Set it right down. here. 
And remember, we are not associated with him. Yep. Please remember. <laughs> no. I knew who Lauren Hill was. Oh. <laughs> Same here. Yeah. Same here. I just didn't know it was ignorance for sure. They said she shouldn't be number one. Yep. I said number, I said the number two spot. No, no, that's my two. opinion. I'll stand on that. Number okay, two, Michael will... Jackson, number one. Yep. Lauren Hill, yeah. number two. Opinion. Prince, it's, it's, number three. It's, you know, it's amazing. Oh, my bad. Oh, no, 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 no. You go, it's you amazing go. to see how, how stupid the world now is. Where nobody can have a differing opinion, that or even crazy. just not know something, because yeah, what they were yeah, mad yeah, about yeah, is that yeah. you didn't know who Lauren Hill. Yeah, there were yeah. people genuinely mad that you didn't know who that was. And then it turned into, oh, he wants to be so black. Yeah, like, yeah. and it's just like, <laughs> you, it, oh, how, what does that have to do how with did you not go knowing from who Lauren Hill is? Yeah, yeah. like, it's okay. Reach, I mean, bro. those people are tiny brain. They're probably children. Let's be honest. There's yeah. no oh, grown adult. There's no grown adult fighting on the internet about that. Yeah, like let me have an opinion and let me stand by it. Like honestly, I mean, the reason why I said, "Oh, Michael Jackson," I'm surprised he's not number one. It's because I, my parents listen to him. Everyone I, I know, the world Michael, Jackson. Michael Jackson, is, yeah. and it's global. I could literally go to Korea, China, and say, "Do you know who Michael Jackson is? Do you know Thriller?" They'll be like, "Yeah." You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I, I asked my mom. I was like, "Do you know who Lauren Hill was?" And she said, "No." And like, that's just, that's just what it is. Mm-hmm. You know. Regardless. Um, I would like to say you guys have said it so much that it's now true. I do want to be black. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Wait, but back to the back to the what's an equivalent for forehead kisses. Mm-hmm. What about when they like they like pick out an outfit for you? Nah, I don't like that. Jeremy, oh. you would let me? Yeah. Oh, what the I mean, it depends. Do you mean like buying outfit. you like clothes yeah. as a gift? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, that's always something. nice. But I don't think forehead kiss equivalent. Like that, a okay, gift that's is, like a gift. A gift yeah. is nice right, always. Right, yes. Right, please what comment what you guys think. Yeah, yeah that's what curious. I wanted you guys to comment down below so we can check if you're paying attention. Is give us more equivalents for men, male forehead kisses. Male forehead kisses. Mm-hmm. Let me think of another good one. Just a banger. Um, when they squeeze their bicep or your bicep, oh, yeah. I guess. Oh no, walking, walking, and they curl it like, like yeah. grab your arm. Yeah. What if they and they comment? Yeah. They go, oh, you're you're strong. Yeah. Never had it, but yeah, I, was, <laughs> I, I looked I over at you. I was waiting. I was, I was like waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Both the house is like, man. Ah, there it is. I, I think I hear it more than he hears it. Actually, oh, like he right. grabbed you. I'm imagining them walking around in public, and Jeremy has his arms around. His, I don't like this narrative. Okay, can we just see what it looks like once, just to see if it fits the vibe? It's like this, and I'm just like, don't worry, babe. <laughs> That's just short, though. She comes. Yeah, yeah. Like, that would look very awkward. Yeah. You guys walking like that. All right. Important question. You don't uh, like would you rather peaks? do the first 99 percent of a or the last one percent? What does that Depends mean? Depends who it is. <laughs> <laughs> and does it look like they've eaten drinking a lot of pineapple juice that week? <laughs> Wait, I can I can you can you First ninety nine percent would be you have to suck the d- until he's about to nut. Okay. Last one percent means that you're only suck it while he in your mouth. Like, yeah, so you're you have to get it. you have to get the nut. I see. And this is this is This a, is not for you, by the way. Oh, only for guys. For okay, the men. Got it, got yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Damn man. Sorry. Well, I'll put in that work. I'll put. I'll do the first half. <laughs> <laughs> first half, first ninety nine percent. I'll do the first ninety nine. Bro, you know some like Vit, imagine you doing the first ninety nine on Vit. Hour later, you're jaw locking. He said shit. that about girls giving him head. <laughs> He's never got head from me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like thirty seconds max, and then Wu Talk stepping in. <laughs> Ew, guys. What? I'm sorry, but come on. I. G- He's a he 30, said, I guess. He's a 30 seconds Dude, max. I. Jeremy said, not with hey, me hey, on it. Vit would be quivering <laughs> <laughs> if I was. Uh, if I was on his beat. Yeah. <laughs> Gripping the bed sheets. Hey, down. <laughs> <laughs> I like how no matter how many times we make a gay joke, it always cracks us up. <laughs> he went down. <laughs> uh, bro, I'll, I'll probably have to go. Man, this is hard. If, if, and your shit would be feeling like it's going down a water slide. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm not going. I'm going the last one percent. I'm, I'm I'm leaning towards the last one. Like I'm it's not so- confident in my in my blowjob. I'm not. No, Why? come on. I'm just. You can. I just don't think. I just don't think I'm. I'm I just don't think I'm like that. No, where I can. I can. I can you bring are. It out of that you quickly. are. You're him. Just try it. <laughs> <laughs> don't hey. give up so easily. Yeah, Jesus, you're so meek. And I just want. I just want. I, I'm gonna have to do it for the shortest amount of time, so I'm gonna take the one percent. The short. Wait, are you allowed to throw up? No. <laughs> <laughs> he would throw up. I would throw up. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can, but you gotta swallow it. Ugh. Oh my god! Um, but imagine how offensive it is for Vit to be like. <laughs> 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 no, no, as a, let's just say girls had the. D- 
yeah. <laughs> men were the ones sucking it. Oh. Yeah. Then imagine the girls like, damn. That's a whole other the, scenario. You ever, you, you, ever, you ever threw up from, um, you ever, th- <laughs> like eating. <laughs> you ever threw ever? up from eating. Yeah. <laughs> You're disgusting. Why? Well, no, I didn't throw up. Oh. out the. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like projectile vomit into the. <laughs> I just went to the bathroom. Did she know? Probably. I mean, he gags that's, really yeah, loud. That's so crazy. I also can't control it. But do you know why you did that? It was a nasty, or was it just? Um, I forgot why. It was just something about it was just off. Oh. Just I, the probably thought. the taste. Oh. I, let's I, go back to this one percent thing. What? You guys would want to swallow it. I'd rather do that than suck. Potentially thirty minutes. Yeah, I would. But just... but, but but think about it this way: it's like one is like you're taking his bodily fluids. The other is like. Imagine if you just had to suck on a finger. Just imagine it's not a finger. finger. But you're getting the ju- his juices inside of you. You have to gulp it all down. Well, you're, you're really right. not that good if you're for 30 minutes. and he- That's what I'm saying. No, I, no, I, I don't t- think I'd be that good. I've Stop watched, being I've, shy. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen many, you eat. I've watched many. And I've seen you grip on things. <laughs> <laughs> Combine the two. Hey, but be honest. Combine the two. He's coaching me throughout a second. Hey, but be, hey, be, 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 imagine it's so long time. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, but be honest. You know what you like. So in your brain, right? You've never sucked it. True. But you, people say that all the time. You know. And I'm like, I don't know if it works that way. But right. I think a girl like. Yes. Here's the thing. Tonight, I run a mile. Let's see you if I can do it in nine minutes. You suck, suck it. Wait, I've never. All right. Like, see how, see how fast you can get him to. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, I I realized that I've never asked my gay friends like, are you better at giving because you know how it f- what you like and Absolutely. how it feels like? I never I don't know why I never asked them that. I feel like girls I should would also him. be better at eating pouchois because of that reason. Oh, mm. I don't know like why I never would, thought of can, it. Can, have you not thought in your brain you're like, okay, if there was a pouchois in front of me, I would know what to do. Mm. It's kind of like how when a dog you drop it in a pool. Knows how to swim, even though it's never jumped. Well, but in a pool. I don't like getting eaten now, so I, I wouldn't know either. Okay, well, so, but you regardless, of, like, even if you had to poke a female, you know, I don't want to. You would know where to put your finger, where to touch. Maybe. So you, glizzy in your face. You think I'm sucking the main Yeah, you swing yeah. me. Mm. That was a good swing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe I will do the first ninety-nine. <laughs> don't actually. You've never when 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 a girl is giving you mouth pleasure, and you're like. Not gonna bust. Do you ever think in your mind like I could probably do this better? <laughs> think about it. it's it's the same as the. Have you ever gotten a? And you're like I could do this better. Well, the yeah, no. because yeah, like, <laughs> well, the yes, but, but also, head, but no. also, I don't want them to do a better. Like why? Like if we're at only the phase, why am I like? Don't try to make as fast as possible. Like that's not the point of the here, right? No, no, like, no. But even just I like, like yeah, yeah, <laughs> we we, we know. <laughs> What? We know. Whoa. <laughs> we know. What, so what are y'all like be doing when oh, you hang out? Nah, I know what he's talking about. Like, <laughs> I know what he's talking about too. I was just trying to make it weird. Yeah, but 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 you still know. You know what? You know what would make it better, or you just know. All right, man. You swayed me. I'll do yeah, the first ninety-nine. Yeah. I'll do the first ninety-nine. <laughs> nice. And and you gotta do the one percent. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one left. <laughs> which De- one? Which definitely one? the last one percent. You're doing the last one percent for sure. I, to, there's pro, it's a good pro and con, like you know what I mean. Like last one percent, if you could brave that liquid, like you are, it's over and done. Very it's quickly. over. Let's and say done let's with. say it's no neck head. Oh, who's no neck head? <laughs> <laughs> the guy from the twenty v one balloon popping things. No, 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 no. That's no neck. That's no neck J. Oh, who's no neck? No neck head is the guy ninety. He was like super viral from ninety day fiance because he was like he's oh, the TV. Oh, Mike, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> No, <laughs> that guy's getting neither. No, come on. You have to. We have to. I'm use, killing myself. We have to put a person in this scenario, and then there's ten grand waiting you on the other I side. You know, I feel like he'll bust fast, so I'll I'll go to town on no neck good, <laughs> <laughs> and, and not last in a minute with me. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be no lasting end when I'm done with him. <laughs> I'm gonna give him neck end. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have some neck after I'm done with him. <laughs> <laughs> He's just neckhead. <laughs> Quick neckhead. <laughs> yes, neckhead. Uh, well, yeah. hey, but if it was no neckhead, you would do the ninety-nine. Yeah, yeah. That guy does not look like he can. He can last a minute with me. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Who are you picking? 
Uh, Wait, actually, let, let, the question is better if it's the two of you, and now you're fighting over who's got to do the 99. Why rolls. do you want to elaborate this question any further? She because I'm done, like, it's bro. too yeah, easy. Yeah. We have, we don't need to get any further. Oh, you guys know Jeremy. Any other promos we need to do? No, no, no. <sighs> Oh wait! Didn't you just do um, like a YouTube video with Madhu and Cynthia, <gasps> and you played? Oh, no, they and you played a little game, and I yes. want to know. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I asked Madhu and Cynthia a question. I was like, rank under the influence and suburb talk, uh, the the boys from best dress to worst dress. Mm -hmm. Who do you think? Got the best. All right, dress who's, a, who, who's number one? Wait, no, so no, no, let's every, start with worst dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start worst with worst. Dress? Just go through the list, cause yeah. Okay. Worst dress. Let me guess. Worst dressed out of all of us probably would have to be like literally you guys and Subber Talks. Yeah, just just the yeah. hosts, right? Yeah, just yeah. the remedial yeah, sub group. Yeah, just the host. huh. yeah. Because if I, I'm not allowed to say, I'll tell you guys later. But if it wasn't in the main group, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you later. I'll, oh, okay. Couldn't be me. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna guess Jeremy. <laughs> Sage. <laughs> no, Sage dress is pretty nice. Yeah, that's why. I'm but like, they all kind of have a good style. That's what I'm like. Okay, well, I, I can think of the best dress out of the group. My personal opinion. Okay. Out of the their yes, group. Yes, you, you guys guess. You guys. Oh, no, no, guess. Are we combining talks? everybody? Or we, let's start with everybody. just everybody. Okay. No, no, bam. everybody. You guys rank your top three. In Subber Talks or all of us? All of us. Literally, UTI Subber Talks together. I'd say Wu Talk is up there, and I would say Devin. That's my. I would put me Devin. Vitt. Are we talking about the women too? No, no, just, no, just the men. men. Oh, just the men. I'm gonna pick me Devin Vit. And not in an order, just you, those three. No, you have to do an order. Just no, do, yeah, an order. do an order. All right, well, Cockley, I'm gonna put myself first, then then Vit, then Devin. Okay. I will put myself first, and then we <laughs> and then Devin. Okay. I put I put Devin. <laughs> that's okay. Say, if that's what you. I think. would say. I would say. I'm trying to remember. Oh, you're crazy pills. Crazy pills. Oh, at this one, I don't even say the joke. I just gotta get it out first. Crazy pills. <laughs> Um, I would say, I'd say Utak, Devin Vitt. You guys are so mm. cocky to put yourselves in there. Like, you guys weren't even on the list. No, oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, I, I just joked. Yeah, we were on the list, I just, I, just I, I just had you to put you guys it, down. You didn't make it in the There's only All seven right. people. Hey, the so reason why I would put list. you guys above them or, you know, is because I, I feel like they take a lot of your style. Mm. I feel like you guys influence their style. Mm. Actually, yeah, the BB belts. Yeah, yeah. I should be number one. The crop, I oh, the crop, and the and the and the and the bell bottoms. Mm. 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 So I'm two. You got one right now. Yeah, that's what I have. I Tattoos. remember I was watching you uh, re review the UTI video, and you had to stop the video with, to the to the BB segment. And he was like, "I need everyone to know oh, yeah. I started the BB belt yeah. wave." And I was like, "You did, you did." But it was just funny. He had to like clarify it. Like. <laughs> okay, let me reveal. If I'm not mistaken uh -huh. so cynthia said well you got to do from worst to best order yes worst to best yes so we're building anticipation okay okay but then that there's so many people i might be mistaken try, because they were your, try, they were all very very like similar when it best. came to the answer try your best. okay so with cynthia she said the worst was nick <laughs> and then and then it was jeremy i believe <laughs> nick and then jeremy. and then she said that ha, ha, wait, 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 wait nick's not even bad he doesn't dress bad. No, 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 no. Nobody, so none of you guys dresses. Always hates on Nick. Uh, oh, yeah. I think no, she's just none hating. of you guys dress horribly. It's more so like if they had to choose, right? Mm. So then it was, it was, yeah, for her, it was like um, Nick, and then it was uh, Jeremy. The two and most then, handsome out of both groups. <laughs> Makes and sense. then she said like Devin and uh, Sean were like interchangeable, uh -huh. right? And then how many. And then we have like what three more? Three Sage. more left. And then it, and then it was Sage, and then oh, it was between you guys. So top Cynth two, top two. Cynthia two. said Wu Talk number one, Vit second. Mm. Maru said Vit number one, Wu Talk second. Maru wants me so bad. <laughs> We're back. I'm so <laughs> bad. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, hit my line. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Yeah, no. If I if I'm not mistaken, but you guys were you guys were waiting. you guys were on the top uh, top three, and Sage was, I think Sage Sage was always number three. I'll take it. Hey, yeah. appreciate you girls. Yeah, I appreciate that. Love y'all. I see Devin sisters. more than I see Sage, so I can't even remember what Sage dress is like. They both have good style. Yeah. Yeah. They have sim they dress similarly. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people yeah. think they're related. When uh, they look, so I thought they were related I when I first met them. Sage, Sage and Devin. Devin when I first met them. I thought they were. They don't look anything alike. 
They don't when you get to know them, but yes. when I first met them, they had the same haircut, same mustache, they dress similarly, yep. they act exactly the same. Similar like, height. Yeah, and I'm like, y'all are cousins, brothers, yeah. like best mm. friends. Definitely you know? thought they were related. But they are best friends, so yeah, I yeah. feel like that yeah. makes sense. Um, and you guys aren't curious about what I said? Yeah, what did you say? Oh. I didn't I know said, you also rated. Oh, I did too, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said Jeremy number one. <laughs> Wait, what biased. Happened? I mean, biased we expected list. that. No, I think he's so confident in whatever he does. Yeah, like, I yeah. slept with the judge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta get yeah. like my boy <laughs> skewing test results. <laughs> and then, and then I believe I ranked you guys two or three. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Cool. So she doesn't want to pick. She doesn't want to tell us her face. Suburb, she picked. No, no, I, I forgot. Suburb talks. Uh, yeah, I feel like they all dress. They all dress really nice. But yeah. I'm just like, I see you guys more often. Where I see your fashion. I just know. I just see that you guys influence them. So mm. you have to. They have mm -hmm. to say that. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder who they say. I wonder what Nick would say. <laughs> Nick, you know. <laughs> Nick's always. A, you know, he's gonna say some torpy answer. Yeah, like oh him. my God, Nick is such a brat. I hey, if Nick he, is a. Tour, he deserved that. No, but I yeah. wonder if he would put himself at one or, you know. <laughs> Probably would. Um, I want to get to some more Schmeedy topics. Okay. Yeah. Things. Schmeed. <laughs> you do love Schmeed. But. Um, that Brian do, you know. <laughs> so I've been seeing a lot. This is a very big trending news topic for years now, actually. It's been very huge. But um, Korea, which we're all Korean here. Cast with mm -hmm. four, four Koreans. <laughs> But uh, and and so you know I, I do I do have an interest in the issues that my country faces my home country, and did you know that Koreans are going to be extinct in like twenty years? 30 what? Years? <gasps> yeah. Twenty? That's so soon. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. way. No, Wait, no way, way. No way. We're facing extinction. So Korea's reproductive rates are are the lowest in the world right now. Currently, lower than Japan. You've definitely heard that Japanese people are going extinct. I thought ja Japan was in the negative. No, no, no. Korea is lower than Japan. Korea what? is the There's lowest be country. Human races in our lifetime that go extinct. Yes. That is, and we're one of them. Oh my so, god! So listen, wait, we're a limited mean, edition product. Come get me now while you can. <laughs> wait, 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 hold up, though. So you mean to tell us we're rare? We are. We're literally. <laughs> think of like a discontinued. What what do they got that's discontinued? Beanie like, babies. Like kinder eggs. Mm, yeah, <laughs> beanie babies. Whatever. I don't think, know if beanie. Wait, think wait, of something wait, wait. cooler. Wait, dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> but the best way to preserve is you have to mate with a. Korean. Yeah, exactly. So like it, it it's <laughs> we're gonna have Wu Tak in a zoo. <laughs> hey, he's gonna be like one of those. It's like ancient, he's like hundred years old, and we're mating him over and over and over again. <laughs> you know like that you know like yeah, that yeah, tortoise. Yeah, yeah, the tortoise <laughs> the tortoise that single handedly repopulated yes. the island. That's that's, that's gonna that. be me. Wu Tak is like, I'll take the duty. I'll do it for my people. Wait, but that means you have to you have to have babies with a Korean woman, right? That's okay. I'm, I'm assuming they don't they're not gonna hold me responsible for all my 1,000 no, babies no, no, yeah. no. <laughs> but um, <laughs> they're like a child support <laughs> <laughs> make me raise all of them I have to answer to a thousand Korean baby mamas that sounds like literally what my nightmares are made of like it's just one Korean baby mama in my oh nightmares my but that on a thousand is like one that even my own brain couldn't punish me with but anyway so let me read you some statistics so in 2024 Koreans have six six point seven births per a thousand people. So for right. every thousand people, they're birthing six, almost seven children. That's it. The average number wow. of children a woman will have in her lifetime in in twenty twenty four is point six eight. So for every couple, they're not even having one full child. They're having less than. One How do you have a half a kid? Exactly. No, you can't. So it's just saying that like oh most people God. are not having kids. Damn. That, which is, which is, I just which imagined just, a, a kid with no head. That's what I imagined. Carrying around a pair of legs. <laughs> yeah. And only, no. and in 2023, it was 0.73. So in just one year, it dropped a lot. Holy shit. It's dropping very fast. So um, it's low enough to be considered a fertility crisis. And it's one of the government's top social priorities right now. It's like really, really bad. Wow. And so. <laughs> well, they out there. Bust raw campaigns, Liter not raw. Literally, so like, I'm, I'm joking. I kid you not. Like, the government is coming up with like genuine incentivized programs to like have young people have kids and blah blah blah. And the government is like, I don't, I didn't write down anything specific the government's ah, doing. Damn. But there's private corporations that are offered that are trying to step in to save their country's birth rate. Lotte Group, you guys know Lotte. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do, is there any American brands that they own? 
No, but they're huge. Like, if you drink soju, Lotte owns any soju. Yeah, company. and like a lot of the snacks that are in like H Mart or wherever Korean stores you go to are Lotte Group. It's a gigantic food and grocery and like amusement park chain, like just humongous like group. They're a Cheboy group group in Korea, but. They did something. One of their incentives was families with three or more kids would get a gifted a seven to nine seat car, like a family <laughs> car, like a minivan. They just get gifted a car. <laughs> that alone pushed the birth rate up by like two points in twenty twenty really? back in twenty twenty two. Yeah, wow. Because like, well, I'll get into the reasons for the birth rate. Yeah, I was just about to ask. This this housing and construction group called Booyang offered employees literally seventy five thousand dollars per child that they birth. And since they started this, 66 employees have taken advantage and it's cost them around $5 million. So 75K is the most that an employee can get gifted without like insane tax hikes. Oh, got it, so that's got why it. they capped it at the most they could give them, which mm. is very cool for a company to do. Yes, and per, what kid, no per kid. Yeah, what I've noticed is, is that like clearly the young people are jaded in ways that they're not having kids, but like Korea is like genuinely trying to like salt, like this is like an issue that you would kind of think like, how the would I make people have kids, right? But it's like they're literally dedicating resources to trying to like get people to, to do that. Shit. And um, so a lot of people are going to say shit like, oh, the world's overpopulated anyways. What's the issue? When you're not, when you're, it's like a terrible thing if your population is not growing at the rate to like kind of keep up sustain with it, it, to sustain it. But if you're losing population, like it's like your your society will collapse. Yeah. So like people won't be able to hold up the amount of jobs that are necessary for like the companies that feed everyone to like c continue. The military won't be able to uphold itself. And Korea is a country that must uphold its military because we're basically still in war. Like the war never truly ended. It was just demilitarized. That's what's called the DMZ, the demilitarized zone. The, the line. So the Korean War has never ended. That's why there's constant missile tests. And that's what North Korea is always doing. And, and that's why it's always a topic, even in American politics, like the like North Korean relations and all that. So all of those things considered, it's a very, very bad country to go under. It's also an economic powerhouse. Uh, no more K-pop for you. No more K-dramas for you. And uh, and yeah, and, and like so, I've watched a lot of content on like interviewing people on the street because I think that statistics. It's very hard. It's very easy to get lost in statistics and forget that there's people on the other end of these statistics. So I'm like, why the Aren't people having kids? Yeah, what caused this? So easy one is high cost of living and low wages, right? So yep. Korea's boomed economically, but that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone's gone up with it. Like uh, a lot of people have gone up with it, but the only way for you to like gain success in Korea is to get into a top three college. It's like Seoul, Korea, and Yonsei. They yep. call it Sky. They literally have an acronym for it. If you don't get into Sky, you're basically mm. so so imagine imagine like if you're a kid out there yeah. think about how dumb i was yep. in, from you feel hopeless 19 to 25 yeah. but like the minute you do on that college test your life path is set for life and it's super hard you cannot jump career paths you can't try things you can't there's no entrepreneurial spirit in korea mm. you just there, fall there in is, line. it's just not nearly it's, as, it's hard yeah yeah it's not it's much harder than america and it's not as um in America, there's like a glory that comes with entrepreneurship mm -hmm. because like ever, ever, like just example, this may not all of you might understand this, but living in L.A. and New York, I will meet so, so the amount of people that I meet who are like 22 years old, who are multimillionaires off of some random online business. Oh, I do digital marketing. I have like six clients and I make 300K a month. You know what I mean? Oh, I started a lash business that does like $400,000 a month. Oh, I did this skincare thing back in 2009 and sold it in 2012 for $15 million. Like I meet that so frequently because I live in big cities and, and I've elevated my self-worth to like get in these circles too now. But it's just like in Korea, that's definitely very, very where in Korea, what they look at as entrepreneurships is like you dropped, you failed out of school. So your only option was to open like a fried chicken restaurant. Mm -hmm. And it's very, it's like kind of looked down upon. It's like the second tier of society. So <clears throat> for us, there's like a certain like, like Americans value independence so much that you get clout as an entrepreneur. Like, damn, you said f school and you just did that on your own. That's way harder. That's cl I, I respect that. And most people think like that in America and Korea. I don't think they really think that that also, much like that. Just the structure from entrepreneurship is not there. Like if you did have a product idea yeah. or you wanted to go meet venture capitalists, it's like you can't. The it's culture like, is just not, it doesn't yeah. reward individuality. So, yeah. so yeah. that's a big one is that there's like this trending term called hell Joseon, which just means like Joseon is what Korea was called their last dynasty before it became Korea. <clears throat> 
And basically just young people are so like tired of Korean societal standards because it is like, damn, if I'm not top 1% at school, like you're telling me my my income is by half. Like literally, if you graduate from those schools, the types of jobs you get are twice as high paying. And so all the highest, the, the Cheboy groups, like the big companies like Lotte, Samsung, Hyundai, they, their salaries, their starting salaries are literally 2x that of like every other company. And they only hire usually from the top three. Mm. So it's like, that's part, and plus there's an entrance exam to even get hired into these companies. So it's like, oh. imagine you're just living life in a society where like, if I don't study 19 hours a day, like I'm my whole yeah my yeah. whole life and is- even when you are studying 19 hours a day everyone's studying 19 hours a day so what the f- like that's not even putting me ahead yeah mm-hmm. you know what i mean and i'm like watching videos of like like 28 year old this like 28 year old girl who works as a graphic designer who also works f- like part-time as a convenience store clerk and like still lives like sh- like mm-hmm. she she sleeps three hours every night that's and I'm, and she's somebody that's actually trying to make it out the the trenches and is successfully doing that like in a couple years she'll own her own convenience store mm. on the path she's on yeah but it's just like damn you slept three hours a night for like the past like multiple years yeah i'm also, like if i sleep three hours a night one night i'm for the week like exactly um also in korea they're so huge on like beauty yeah. standards that like you have to attach like a picture of yourself like on the resume and like they Photoshop it as well because first impression is huge, right? Yep. And a lot of the time, people that are prettier are going to get chosen yep. as opposed to like someone that is not as attractive, which also is just your you're like, fu- you're like, in every way. So if you're not if you're not way. maximizing the way you look, you're not mm. maximizing looks your studies. Looks. I mean, that's why so many people in Korea get plastic surgery. Yep. Like the first thing that they do after they graduate high school is get double eyelid surgery. Yep. But, but, and I'm just like, yeah, it's like, you have to compete. Loki, you made it like they made it like this. You yeah. know what I mean? But what I want to know is is at so, the society has always been built like this. Then what suddenly has drastically changed where now more people are like, I don't want to participate in this. So it's just become um I think that the rise of entertainment, like you can opt out. So like there's another thing, I forgot the name of it, but there's a lot of young people who literally just choose to like not participate in society. So they'll get like government, they get government assistance to afford the cheapest type of living with the cheapest, most garbage food. And like, they just live in like basically a closet. Don't ever come out. They have access to the internet. They have a computer, they have a phone. You could consume content till you die. Like literally you could just rot in your room. You can, mm. you can entertain yourself. The cost of living is super cheap. So my sister's out in Korea. And so there was another news article that was related to teacher rates. Mm. And I was like, like uh, teachers in, in Korea are themselves by the droves it's like a it's an epidemic and i was like everyone in korea is themselves korea also has this high rate of any country it's crazy. really yeah. but Especially i was like but I, I immediately texted her when i saw this tiktok video i was like yo are you good and she's like i'm treated differently because i teach english so i'm not treated like korean teachers in korea a teacher is a, a career like a doctor it's highly re- like in america we teach we in america we treat teachers like in Korea, you're up there with a doctor, so there's tons of pressure because you're you're creating the next generation of the kids that have to work at those top companies. Mm. So you, there's a lot of pressure from society. But long story short, it's it's got to the point where all these teachers are themselves because think about it. Imagine if you're you're like a parent of a kid and you spent all this money on your teacher and your kid's studying 19 hours a day and you know that that's going to determine your kid's career path. And then for whatever reason, your kid doesn't perform well. You're all hell breaks loose on yep. the teacher. So, but but for her, she was like, the cost of living, she's able, as an American teacher salary, she's able to save money. Uh, she's like, I can literally save half of my salary. Yeah. And I can afford rent, eat eat out, like, it's... Yeah, the yeah. cost of living is much lower compared to here. Yeah. Like, a million times. But the issue is, is Korean wages. Hmm. Like, like, if you're a foreign, if you're foreign help, you have a certain, you have, like, you're still like... You're said is rare right yeah. like you speak english and korean to teach english like that's a very common job in korea nowadays my friend is a sat because a lot of rich people want their kids to go to school in america so he yep. teaches them how to do call american college applications and prepare for the sats and things like that he gets paid it's bread header yeah but it's like the uh, the koreans that graduated from a f- random school that are doing some random office job wages do not cut it like yeah. or at least like for the, the ability to have children absolutely do not cut it Damn. And and uh, and it's a very very hierarchical society. So it's like 
you know, there, there's, it's very hard to move up in ranks. You know what I mean? It's very hard to move through socioeconomic ladder, all those things. And I mean, like, and it's kind of been that way. Like my mom, even like every time I ask her, like, don't you miss Korea? She's like, hell no. I'm like, you wouldn't go back. She's like, I wouldn't even visit that place. Why, why would I go there? There's Korean people here. <laughs> she's like, she's like, it's, she literally is like, it's so much better here. There, she doesn't even miss it at all. And I'm like, cause I'm like, cause I feel a longing. And she's like, cause you didn't grow up there. And she's like, the reason why I never would have let you guys grow up there is cause you never would have been able to progress, do the things you're doing right now. She's like, like with your intelligence, <laughs> you would have not got into Yonsei. So is the, is the government stepping My mom in? went to Yonsei. My mom and dad met at Yonsei. My mom went to Seoul Yeah. 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 My Nerds. Mom came to America. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Is government going to do anything to change it? Or uh, they're, it's trying. Very, well, they're trying, but it's like, well, who knows what they're trying, right? Because like what really needs to change? Like give people a check for having children or like... Build, like, like change your societal the, structure. Yeah, yeah guess, number, that's what exactly. I was like changing a societal structure is like impossible. Like this was built over thousands of years. And when would Chebels want to give up power? Exactly. And like Ooh. who's really making the laws, right? This this is a structure that benefits the Chebos like immensely. What's interesting to me is that some of them are introducing incentive to like you know what I mean at yeah, their own yeah, cost yeah. to like try to fix things. So let's see how it goes <laughs> because for for them too, right? You can't rule a country of nobody, right? If we're gonna go extinct. So Yeah, but that's hilarious. It's like it's like we need to create more indentured servants. Literally, so it's pay. like you Let's guys need to make them. more children so that we can have more employees. Yeah, and it's grow. like, well, 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 instead of making, you know, 50 billion in profits, we'll make 49.99 and give, you know, 100 million out to our indentured servants so that they they could have kids to work for us. But I mean, even from their point of view, like you, can, you need people to have children or they'll hire abroad. Like India and China have no shortage of people, right? Damn, or, that's true. Is, 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 Korea getting like I don't know what their immigration policies are, but are, is is there any? I haven't looked into it for Korea, but Japan. So Japan is changing immigration laws because Japan's facing similar issues. Japan and Korea both have a have a word. The epidemic has gotten so bad they both have a word for young adults who check out of society. Like you ever see the, like you watch anime? You ever see the anime where they did they in anime the trope of like just some loser kid who's like sitting in his room, garbage everywhere, yeah. piled up to his room is literally his bed and a TV it's and an a insult. toilet inside the shower. It's the same Incel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Incel. But wor it's worse over worse, there. Yeah. They don't even... These people are like notorious... Like, because the cost of living is so low and you can just order like a $2 ramen to your place every day for... for, for yeah, yeah. Like, bro, it's... <laughs> they do not leave the house because of how much... They're like, F it. I'm not good looking, so I get no social advantage. I failed out of school already. Life is over for me. And, bro, and those people kill themselves. They die in that hey, room. sharpen up your Korean and start doing like a... a Improvement oh, YouTube channel I've in thought, Korea. I've Korean genuine. Andrew Tate. <laughs> 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 Andrew Tate. No, 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 no. But uh -huh. I have thought about the, like when I watch this. Shit, one of the videos was so well written it made me tear up. Where I'm like, we're going extinct, bro. We're done. We're, for. Dude, we're going Is that extinct. why you were so like passionate when you were telling Jeremy to procreate? Well, <laughs> yes, maybe a little bit. Thank you, brother. You've changed my view. I will be busted. Oh, come on. I think, no, I think that the whole world... Some rare kids. I think the whole world needs people to have children, smart people to have children. Oh, because okay, I guess we won't have to. Yeah, because <laughs> it is like, there was this whole statistic, like, you know, the whole climate change debate. It's like the, like, the scientifically best way to tackle like some global crisis like climate change i'm not even saying climate change but a global crisis like that is to have more children like the like literally the the what how it goes is like you need like if we have eight billion people on this planet and let's say an elon musk right how much has like let's just say i'm not saying that what he's done is correct right because i don't actually agree with the whole electric car thing but let's just say that tesla that one company started by one man and his ideas did like how much to Impact. combat the climate effects, right? So that's like the thinking of like, you literally need to like pump out as many, it's like a chance, it's like throwing shit at a dartboard. Mm. Like how many kids can we have until one of them comes up with some shit? The guy, <laughs> that, the guy that'll cure cancer is literally in somebody's right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> until, and, until you have one country blow it for everyone else and they have people on your beaches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was about to say, yeah, like. <laughs> yes, but that's what I'm saying is, Clearly, the people who are having kids that are doing shit like that yeah. shouldn't be having kids, and they are. And then the people who aren't having kids are the ones that are thoughtful enough to be like this world, like blah, 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 like to think a little bit deeper. When in reality, those are the people who need to have kids. The people that don't think at all hey. about that. Shit. 
are the ones having kids. What if it was some crazy dystopian thing where it was like you got to take like a IQ test, and if you f- pass an mm. IQ test, then you get an and you have a kid, then you get a crazy bonus. S- sounds sounds fire, but sounds very dystopian. Like to Shoot, give yeah, to give somebody dystopian. the rules to police who has kids and not is like yeah. no 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 no. Yeah, anyone can have kids, but if you can meet oh, the certain incentive. requirements, the incentive uh. is really. F- good like you'll get a nanny so it's like you can continue your job and you'll have enough to have a nanny like you'll just make because also it's it's all about the pressure and the and the cost that it that it requires to to raise a kid and dude like back in the day it was like a one one parent could support the family yeah it's it's, it's a million times harder now to have kids it's it's purely the financial thing but okay so if it's purely the financial thing and i was going deep there's this one guy uh uh he's on tiktok and he basically talks about like black rock and how like how deep it really goes in the, the the financial structure of America of how we really are controlled just mm-hmm. in every aspect from the food to school to jobs whatever it is like in that situation like I, I now I got sidetracked I <laughs> sidetracked by what I sorry what I was originally talking about how difficult it is to raise raise a kid yeah yeah, yeah. and then the incentive that they uh-huh. would give in Korea not that shit yeah. don't exist over here. And then I was talking about single parent. I forgot. All I just right. started thinking about it's what okay. he. All right. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah. Never mind. Moving on. Yeah, I didn't know. Anyways, Korea first ninety nine percent. No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're rare. No, that's that's insane. Yeah, we're we're legit going extinct. So, um, if any of you on. Koreans out there would like to procreate, I think we should do our duty to yeah. our country. Oh my god. I will also help. <laughs> <laughs> Vietnamese is close enough. Yeah. Is Vi- Vietnamese isn't facing the same thing? I don't think or so. Or nobody can. Uh, nobody no, ever like, eh. probably cuz Vietnam's like like facing like growth, right? Like they're uh, going from like the developing to developed and world. And they don't have those structures like Chebol oh, really? and like really? the yeah, college yeah. structure. Yeah. Vietnam's yeah. going up right now. Yeah. I'm up next. Hey, Stick with us. In five years, I'll have another Vietnamese co-host. <laughs> uh. I mean, we're kind of looking for one right now. Yeah. We've given up on them not being Asian. If they must be Asian, that's okay. Step but they up. must be a woman. We're keeping that one. <laughs> yes. yes. I need I need another yeah. woman. But, uh, so, like, what would be, what would, what's, like, the threshold of, like, starting now, everyone needs to have minimum three for Bro, the, the curve gotta, to change? Because v- China's also going through it, too, right? That They got rid of one-child law because they're like, this is going to screw yeah. us. In a way, yeah, yeah. yeah. They kind of f- themselves by, like, yeah, they not themselves. having any women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that whole thing. True. Like, nobody wanted a girl because if you're only going to have one child, like, you want a boy. The ratios in Chinese it's, clubs, the ratios terrible. Off. Yeah, that's why oh all the God. men pay for everything because it's a competition mm. out there. Ah. Really? That makes ah. sense. I'm making that up, the, by the okay. way. <laughs> no, no, but, <laughs> no, but, no, clip editors. But it is. It is. And don't in, put that in. In theory, that is, you know. Yeah, it makes sense. It that, makes a that, lot of sense. If that was the truth, that would make sense. It's just a theory. Yeah, but, uh, so yeah. Wait, like, wait, what wait. Is so what did the Chinese do with their kid if it was a girl? Oh, dude, just, up shit, bro. That's you a whole up thing, yeah. Really? Sell them, like, it was a whole, that was a whole, bro, China's history is yeah. Whoa! I didn't know Even that, now, yeah. or this is just like no. no, no, they, no they're facing yeah. the effects now, and they're the effects are going to be like actually impact yeah. their their growth. Like the, the law. Was, how? What year was this? What decade was this? Like it wasn't. It wasn't that dynasty. Long ago. It was yeah, like yeah. 2008. <laughs> no, it wasn't oh, 2008. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were being dead. No. I thought I heard something back in no, 2000. No, 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 dude, no. Wait, this was wait. like before that. This, this was, was like, like the rise of communism in China around yes. that time. Oh. Mao, Mao. It was like Mao it was period. like gangs, parents. Grandparents. Yeah. Oh. Like, so, like, people that are alive th- today could have seen the like this the situations around that. But yeah, that's just dark. You only Dude. allow a family to have one kid, and then like, espe- like back then, like literally survival depends on what kind of kid you have. Like, a, a, a boy can do more work than a girl. Like, you know what I mean? Like that type of sh- like labor, <laughs> and then it's like girls like. Like girls, when they get married, they go live with the guy. So it's like you lose them anyways. So you're kind of just like, I got to bet on having a, a boy. And mm-hmm. people do up shit to make sure they had a boy. That's how would you, um, because you only get one too. So yeah. it's like, uh, how would, yeah, what, what is it like? What is like a healthy amount? It's like if, in, in society, if everybody, if every generation just kept having three kids. It's like, just, yeah, have more than two. More than two is more than two. I, I would just I don't know the exact math. Like obviously for a country like Korea, you where we need to get aggressive with it. 
So it's like men need to basically procreate with multiple women so you can have multiple kids coming okay, out. Okay, didn't say that. He but. sounds more excited than sad. He's like, we got to get more aggressive <laughs> with got, it. We, we need to, get, to hey, work. Hey, <laughs> I've been saying everyone needs to have lots of kids. You got to have a passport, my boy. They don't want I, your tr- kind there. Trust me. I mean, I, I, my pass, I have a passport. It's a Korean passport. <laughs> oh, but they want me back so <laughs> bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, what I'm talk? literally hiding hey, out here. Why don't you write a little letter be like, don't send me to the army. And I'm going to save our population. Yeah, right and now. I'll come back. <laughs> Do a little deal. <laughs> he, <laughs> pull, he pulls up his credentials. Yeah. I'm this girl. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest hitters. I'm low key. That like, that may work if they're desperate. Show me your roster. <laughs> and it's like a scroll, and it rolls down. He's like, "Wow, this guy does a s- to very good." <laughs> Bro, wow, <laughs> your Korean, your fake Korean accent is hilarious. <laughs> You ever see the Korean variety show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I hate that shit. They'll, do, they'll do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <gasps> 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 Singles Inferno, all the whole. Oh, 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 Momo is a translation yeah. for oh. <laughs> what other what other Korean noises are there? Mm, oh. oh my god, you could literally have a you like, could there's have tons a, of it. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. So, you can oh, have a it's like understand. Yeah. Oh, it's like oh, understand. Oh. It's like you're listening. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's yeah. like okay. You can have a whole conversation just, just doing noises. that yeah. that mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Oh. oh. Wow. There's a wow. <laughs> chincha. Mm-hmm. No, that's a real word. Oh. That should be a clip right there. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just no, back and forth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. No, when I would, when I uh, uh. used to, I mean, when I was calling my mom and I couldn't talk, but I would just like be like, mm, 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 mm. my mom like, knew exactly what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Just like. Mm-hmm. I mean, you ever mm-hmm. seen? You remember that? You remember when June came on our show? Yeah. And he had, so June Lee, we all know him. He, back before he did the Netflix thing, he was on an HBO short, like short film. And that was like the biggest thing he'd done at the time. So I watched it and it was funny, but it was about like a Korean American guy on a date with a white girl and they go to a Korean restaurant and he's trying to like, She's like, oh, why you speak Korean? That's so cool. And he's like trying to flex he knows Korean, but he only knows how to say ne, which is like, yes, or like, okay, right? So, and it's so real because what, for a lot of Koreans who barely speak Korean, like basically Jeremy, you get away with only saying one word the whole conversation. So he's like, <laughs> re- the waiter comes up, she, he, he's like asking him questions in Korean and he's just like, repeats ne to everything. But they're, they're asking him wild things and he's just a, like saying yes to it because he doesn't know what the they're asking so the bill comes it's like nine hundred dollars there's like hellish there's shit flying around like it's just wild shit. and he just like agreed to all of it because he didn't know what he was saying mm. that's funny but uh good, wow. good movie good job Jim. Oh, speaking Bye. of korea can i say one thing oh yeah have you do you guys know a famous youtuber called ji yang no that if sounds you, hella chinese though yeah yeah, yeah. ji yang she's korean but she's like a huge mukbang like mukbang content creator in mm-hmm. korea she's like 10.6 million subscribers she recently came out maybe like i don't know when this this video is coming out but she recently came out and she talked about how abusive her boyfriend was her ex-boyfriend yes. and her ex-boyfriend forced her to work at the bar that he was working um at and then also took all her money and then when she got into youtube he basically took 70 percent of her broadcast revenues and 100 percent of her ad revenues oh my God. but she's making millions yeah. like she has lost millions because he would take all of it oh how are you letting this happen to yourself i was gonna i was gonna ask actually does korea not have youtube like people can't no korea has they youtube, have, no, korea has YouTube. YouTube. yeah they're, there's a lot of huge korean youtubers yeah. they, have, they have youtube and instagram that's why blackpink and all of them have instagram they're mm. not like china they allow yeah, all the yeah, American yeah. apps. So yeah. how come Koreans don't? Korea go has TikTok to, too. I think what? it's just illegal still, no? In no, Korea? but how Korea come, co- how come Koreans don't what? Like chase a career in they social do. media? They do. There's, There's a lot of really big Koreans oh, in, in entertainment. Yeah, it's they're huge. There. The issue with this is, again, like that's why I was saying it's about the society and what they glorify. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But then also, too, in Korea, in entertainment, it's like, 
there's still people at the top that it's like very much like if they want to stunt your career, they will stunt mm. your career. Maybe in America, it's like you can make your own little YouTube life and nobody's really going to oh, bother true. you, whatever. Oh, like in Korea, they'll you be can, like, you can in Korea. There's Korean influencers. They exist. Like, yeah. It's not impossible. My bad. Yeah. No, 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 no. But um, you were saying why she did. Why she. Yeah, why? How? Like, how could you allow someone to take every single well, penny? And, and Because he basically like threatened to like extort her. Oh, what did Which she do? Like yeah. threatened like, okay, so she, they had like, he had like explicit content and like in Korea, if that Ooh, shit ever gets yeah. out. But also that's illegal, right? It's illegal, but he physically abused her. Yeah. Like she had proof that like he like beats her um, like she had a recording and she actually showed it on her live stream and Whoa. it was just basically like her screaming he's over here like you f I told you not to do that like you're f useless and like she's over here like please like spare my life like help me please please I'm sorry you know Fuck. and it, it, no, honestly that that was such a scary recording um, anyways and it, it's crazy because I watched her videos for so long so like I know very well like who she is yeah. and she had bruises and like like on her arms and like people would comment and like they're they're just like oh like what happened like what's going on are you okay and she would just be like oh it's nothing i'm just very clumsy and like this was happening for four years Jesus. four years straight and she like also had like bandages like sometimes like like band-aids or like wraps around her arms as well and she would always say like oh it's just like i get tripped you know and she's like like damn like that's like all the time though like yeah. it happens she has so it all the time. Were people like theorizing that she was being abused? They, yes, yes. Okay. And and now some people are like saying, dude, I think uh, she was forced to eat that much because she's known oh. to eat like so much food, mm. like literally like not normal human. Like you know, Ben Dean is it? Is yeah, it Ben Dean? Yeah, like ben Dean. she literally eats like him, maybe even more. I don't know, but they're like some some of the people were saying like, dude, what if she was forced to eat that much? Or else, like, she gets beat. Or, like, you know? Um, and she was forced into this YouTube career, uh, whatever. Probably. Um, but, yeah, like, she finally fought back because her ex-boyfriend started to harass her and threaten her employees. And, uh, wait, wait, wait. So they broke up? She got away from him? Uh, I think so. I think... I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think <laughs> that she was dealing with this abuse for, like, four years. And then she was able to, like, get away from him. But he wouldn't stop, like threatening her and harassing her and she was and and he was starting to threaten her employees families and she was like and she was like i'm numb to this physical abuse but i cannot stand by and see my employees get threatened um because they're like family to her and so she finally like stood up also like a, there was a lot of like youtubers i think there's like ma three main ones that try to blackmail her for tax evasion and personal information like how um they i think they claim to have information that she worked as a escort and like selling her body maybe mm -hmm. and also <coughs> just yeah they they were just threatening her saying that we have information and stuff like that other youtubers other youtubers yeah why korean korean yeah but why well I'm not 100% why they did that, but like she has a lot of money. They wanted money from her. So it has not, that is unrelated to the boyfriend. I think, I think they know the boyfriend as well. I think they're, I, I don't know 100%, but I feel like they're all in it. Scumbag. Yeah. But the, oh, dude, this is the, this is the worst thing though. But um, yeah, they also said like, uh, they were going to basically tell the public that like she had sugar daddy. She was an escort, basically all of that stuff. Did so, she? Or is it just like. It, she said it was, it, it's false. She said it was false, but she did admit that there were explicit content. Mm. Yeah. So, and, and she also admitted that she worked at a bar, but I don't know to, to what extent what, yeah. she did. Exactly. So she, once yeah. she started to fight back and like went public, her ex-boyfriend himself. Oh. Yeah. Story just took a turn. Whoa. And, and, and now it's just like, what can you do? You know what I mean? Yeah. So the only people left that she's uh, basically fighting back against are the YouTubers yeah. and the ex-boyfriend's lawyer. The ex-boyfriend's lawyer is still going? Oh yeah, my God. Dude, the ex-boyfriend's lawyer. Okay, so after after the boyfriend killed himself, 
uh, her ex-boyfriend's lawyer tried to blackmail her as well. So he has some inside information from the ex-boyfriend and he tried to get money from her. So basically what he would, what apparently happened was uh, he was like, hey, I'm starting like a, I think it was like a candle business or something like that. Um, and, you know, can you basically advertise for me on your channel because she has so many subscribers. And then I think she says something like, I'm a mukbang channel, like it wouldn't fit you know, in my thing. And then so she was paying him like, like I think like thousands of dollars a month. Maybe like, I think it's something like $1,200 a month or something like that. So it accumulated to about like $14,000, right? And so she's been paying him like, just so that- The lawyer or- The who? lawyer. Okay. Just so that he won't put th these explicit things out. Oh, he's out. extorting her. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But it's a freaking so, lawyer. So what's the, what's the odd, now that she's come out with the story, like I'm sure is the audience not just like trying to skin these people alive? Oh, 100%, 100%. Like, um, I believe that I think some of the YouTubers that try to exploit her, uh, their channel is demonetized. Like oh. YouTube, YouTube did it, yeah. YouTube did yeah, it. Yeah, YouTube no, did no, it. No, no, no. I don't, I don't know how it is now, but let's react to this like a Korean yeah. variety show. Continue. Yeah. Basically that's it, but okay. she's getting a lot of support. I think it's just mm. sad that like people that go through all of that stuff, like can't even like say anything because they're scared that <sighs> bad things are going to come out, you know? <sighs> mm -hmm. could it, could it. Mm. Honestly, but I'm glad that this is happening. Like. Or you're She's glad getting, that it's coming out. Yeah, it's yeah. coming out. Like, yeah, and the, and then the YouTubers are getting what they deserve. Yeah, as honestly, well. a lot of you out there are f scumbags. Like, what yeah. the? F yeah. No, no wonder they didn't have kids in Korea, bro. Yeah. Not enough. Still, not enough justice, honestly. Uh. But I'm glad that she's able to come out yeah. and basically not get harassed like that anymore. Like now, people can't threaten her. You know, you know, you know, um, you know how in a Korean drama when the villain is just so like comically evil yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah. that's that guy yeah like you you like sit there and think like damn how how can people not have like one shred of humanity and i'd say that korean specifically asian dramas do villains in a way like americans don't i don't know yeah. how to explain it yeah 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 like the in glory yeah. how the bully was burning her with the clothing iron yeah. and beating, beating her I up didn't in watch the gym glory glory oh you so, have to watch but, it hey, but bloodhounds bloodhounds you know, the, the uh, yeah. Shark, the loan shark yeah. guy, right? The main villain, oh, like beat up the mom. Yeah, guy was beating up a oh, guy's yeah. like old yeah. mother. Like, like it's like what the, f and and you you hear sh like that, and you're like, like as a Korean American, I'm kind of like, yo, like, I mean, they're twist. Like, I don't see this sh in like American TV. Like, like I don't I don't know how to explain it. Like American, I'm trying to think of like f up American villains. And it's like what, like Homelander from the Boys, but that's not like, but <laughs> yeah. he's like, it's the just, Homelander's new. Yeah, yeah. He's what about like, like, is there? I've never seen The Sopranos, but do, do the mobs? It's like you kind of, they they all have like a humanity to them almost, yeah, they have right? A code. Yeah, yeah. Like like they're doing up, they're innocent people, like, but it's like, what villain doesn't, right? And yeah. then it, and but it's like this type of shit, like I don't see them doing that type of shit. I'm just like, wow, Asian people come up with villains so well, and I'm realizing it's just because they're all. Some, well, yeah, when an Asian person, like, in, a, in that type of, like, suppressed society, when they go ballistic, like, it looks way more f up. I'm going to be real. It. I would never live in Korea. Like, it doesn't, like... I would. Yeah, I would, I would not. I wouldn't live there permanently, but I would. I'd go back if I had my money made already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I, I, like, I, like, I don't know what it is. Like, the more... The older I get and the more I'm, ref like, not allowed to go back to Korea, the more yeah. I really want to go back. Almost, a almost like a homing beacon like anytime yeah. i see korean content like it feels like a literal like string in my heart like pulling me there you want to be a gangnam girly <laughs> could, could be a man <laughs> a gangnam guy yeah um, that'd be nice gangnam yeah. gay i was actually born in a hospital in gangnam so maybe that's where i'm trying to go oh wow oh yeah. really yeah. i don't even know where i was born um but anyways for your <laughs> you don't know where you were born Oh, in no, Korea, I was in, I was born in Korea, but I don't know what part in Korea. Oh, no clue. Oh. Do you know my mom, Seoul? my mom doesn't even know. Huh? Do you know the city? No. Did you, you get a brush? My, my mom says she forgot. Oh, my mom's hilarious, y'all. My mom was going through like this, like uh, this mental breakdown, and so she, we had like uh, we had like albums, like baby albums, and so she was going through this whole thing where she was tossing everything out. Right. My mom also did that. It's so weird. Yeah. And then so basically. <laughs> She took, she got her iPhone. She took a picture of every single one of the pictures, threw the album away. And then I was like, why would you do that? And she's like, don't worry. I have it all 
in my phone. <laughs> oh my god! No, 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 listen, listen, listen. <laughs> she got a new phone. She she deleted. She was like, oh, but I have to make sure I delete it off of my old phone so that so then you know I could start fresh on my new phone. Nothing got saved. Oh my god! <laughs> and I was like, why the hell didn't you back up your stuff? And she was like, I didn't know you had to do that. <laughs> and I, and and now we don't have baby pictures. Yeah. Uh, but that means you were never a baby. Oh, yeah, my, I guess. My, no proof. my mom did the, like I came home and like so like we we moved out of like the crib I grew up in, and I'm like oh what happened to like all of like our pictures and stuff and she's like oh, I threw them away I'm like what and she's like yeah I'm like why, why? like my voice cracking I'm like why <laughs> and she's like what do we need them for I'm like what do you mean yeah. what's the point of pictures like yeah. and I'm just like damn that's like my whole family history like I don't have any pictures of like my dad when he was healthy I don't have any of my grandfather I have why a did she what do it? she literally no I'm just like what the like what like there's no thought of like sentimental sentimentality in your mind I like mean, when my parents moved to Korea they had all these photo albums and they were also just getting rid of it so I just took all the photos yeah. and I put them in a giant bag Asian so people I have, have zero it. But like it's sick. emotional like availability but it's cool because I'm looking through the photos and I have it when my grandparents were like it's like the first photo ever taken in Korea <laughs> <laughs> I'm like whoa like they look young yeah I'm like like, like my cool. grandma has some photos still, but I remember we we had books and books of photos. Yeah, photo like, albums. Asians love photo yeah. albums. Yeah. Apparently not anymore. There was yeah. like a new update that dropped and yeah. all of our parents got in. They were like, throw these away. <laughs> Xi Jinping said, throw them away. Dude, <laughs> I don't Jinping. know what the heck is going he on. He owns but all of Asia. Yeah, my oh. mom is now like everything that we have at home it's so weird she, like she'll throw away a furniture but first take a picture of it and then throw it away <laughs> like what like you really think that you, if you taking a picture will make it last forever like what That's you're gonna hilarious. throw it away anyways ah. she she basically justifies her throwing away things by just saying no don't worry i have a picture of it i'm like <laughs> Bro, for what? Dude, well, I can't sit on the picture. <laughs> it's so weird. She prints it out. Yes, you can. Yeah, all of our, all of the like uh, crafts that we made as a child, uh, she threw all of those away. I throw that shit too. You don't need oh, the, the crafts. crafts. Yeah, yeah, get that out of here. But, yeah. but yeah. like yeah. the Photos. ones, the ones where I like, I drew nice pictures. I won prizes with that. That shit's in the garbage. She didn't tell me That's about okay. it. So yeah, it kind of made me sad though. Yeah. It made me sad. It does make me. It made oh, me sad. Yeah, yes. but by the way, oh, more, more, if more. you guys haven't watched <laughs> Cyber Hell. On Netflix, you guys should watch it. You guys didn't hear? Oh, no. You went homo. Hey, you're Korean now. I had a thought the other day where I was like, everyone, you know what's like a super awkward thing to, to do for most people? Fart? You know <laughs> what's true. another super awkward thing <laughs> yeah, to do for like, most people? Hey, wait, wait. Thought son, thought son. <laughs> <laughs> you know that question? What does that have uh, to do with it? I just thought, I just thought of it. <laughs> thought son, gay daughter. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not understanding. Okay. You, you don't know that question. Yeah, it's over. It's, it's, yeah, it's your own fault for not getting. You know it. what your you know what your special talent is. Not knowing the mood. Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> You're. I'm actually the vibes girl. The vibes girl. I'm the vibes girl. He's actually not. You you were you were dethroned yeah. last she took, episode. Uh, she took your job. People, people yeah. grow. People change. Oh my god. Nah, nah, okay. People. Okay. He's just unemployed now. <laughs> he, he, really he really is. He really is. Anyways, so you, something I thought of that's probably awkward for a lot of people because it's given me a lot of anxiety at one point in my life is how do I progress things when like you think it's getting spicy? How do I progress things so that maybe the deed can happen? When, when would that give you anxiety? Let me say that again. <laughs> Years ago on your first body? <laughs> I, I do remember actually the first time I ever had having a lot of anxiety about it yeah. but the, thankfully the girl knew what she was doing and she just took over mm. and took advantage of me <laughs> i didn't really want to <laughs> oh, oh I got, please. It took a turn <laughs> took a turn anyways um but but the whole point is is like you know you're sitting there mm -hmm. maybe the date's gone well you're you got a girl over to your place and you're like oh man how do i make a move how do i escalate this to spicy time mm. hey do you want to I feel like that's what you would do. Nah, yeah, absolutely not. Have you ever done that? Asked if you want to. Hey, you want to. <laughs> probably, to be honest, probably. He looked over at his hand like he was going to say something like, do you remember? He was did, talking to his hand. He's like, do we do that? <laughs> yeah. I feel like if you're drunk enough, that's easy. Drunk, drunk is probably yeah, easier. Well, it makes it easier. Yeah, but easier, if, if you, but, uh, for a lot of, if you haven't done it enough times and like gotten practice and learned what works, nerve wracking. Can yeah. I? I'd say, I'd say, can I be honest here? Yeah, I'd yeah. say that 
The move is you get their hand and you put it on your junk. <laughs> You're making out. You're making out. Make it out. You're obviously you're right, kissing. Buddy, how do you start making out with him? Oh, you skip like nine oh, steps. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. I thought you were talking about the thing. From, yeah, from but from like well, awkward well, stage. Well, well, not, you got, oh, you're, if I you're already said, making out, it's wait, pretty what's, easy. What's okay, awkward okay, stage? okay, okay. What's awkward okay. stage? Like basically let's you say, like them and you want to got it, got it. Let's say, let me paint the picture. Okay. You're on a date. Hi. You get them back to, we're not hacking it out. Oh, I thought you were a freak. Why ain't stayed over here? I wouldn't even take your ass on a date. I'm just straight. I said, I said, hi, put your hand on my, the server's like, uh, your check, sir. Oh, oops. Basically dates over, right? You had a good date. Hey, do you want to go back to my place? She's down. So now you're at your place. Maybe you have drinks or whatever, whatever. You're just chilling. But now you're like sitting on a bed together, conversing. What are you mm. doing? You know what I mean? Like you're talking, <laughs> the conversation's just not, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. there's nothing, like there's no tension yet. You're just sitting there like can genuinely I, I, having a conversation. Can I say I'm on the couch instead of the bed? It doesn't matter where you are. Okay, yeah, okay, just you're okay. sitting next to each other by each other and you're not like physical yet. You've never made out. You've never kissed. Oh. I would play a drinking game. I mm. love drinking games. Like let's just like say. What game? Put like, your hand on my. <laughs> Jeremy. This is called cack hand. Jeremy, oh my God. <laughs> it's where you put your hand and make. What the f? What? 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 Have you ever actually done that? I no, never. I can see. Never. Never. He, he has done the other thing though. What's the other thing? What's the other thing? Just. <laughs> How deep into dating did he no, just no, start? No, no, only once I'm comfortable. He okay. has done this too. <laughs> okay. That guy's my hero, man. That's, that's my hero. Not a romantic bone in this body. <laughs> that coupled with the knowledge of the Roman helmet and <laughs> making me cry laughing. <laughs> like Jeremy. <laughs> Make this whole whole segment on how Jeremy initiates <laughs> time. Oh my God. I didn't realize you're talking about square one, but anyways, continue. Just kept going. Yeah. Um, <laughs> drinking game. Drinking some, game. Some not, real advice. Yeah, drinking game. You know, nah. like sometimes, uh, like, <sighs> like never have I ever. Like girls just love games. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, Ooh. I like never have I ever. <sighs> so like. Um, and so, like, if you Ugh. lose, you drink, you know? Mm -hmm. And then it just gets kind of flirty. Nectar is the perfect drink to play a drinking game with. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yep. No yeah. calories. And it's delicious. Drinking game, is a, drinking game is a good one. But, it's a good one. But that, and, <laughs> and remember like, this. Remember this. All right? So, uh, you remember this. Because, like, this is not, like, confident guys that we're giving advice to, right? This is, like, probably third or fourth girl they're ever hooking mm. up with. So, like, just, like, just kiss them. It's, like, not good advice for them because they are their pants they're just like me yeah like third or fourth girl i ever hooked up with like it was every move was like thought overthought mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. my hands are sweaty like mm -hmm. you know if you can't do a drinking game what would be another one you you have to somehow initiate say, touch drink, yeah drinking game is solid but yeah if you you're hearing this before you're on the date obviously or mm -hmm. maybe after but what you should do is initiate some form of touch before you're at that awkward stage because if you're at the end of the date and you're like you've never even touched them once it's hard to get through like yeah. all the touch <laughs> barriers in one go bro breaking the touching barrier is so like when you open the, the, the uh, i wish talking not easy yeah, i wish talking was easier yeah when you open the door when they're going in not not hand on the small of their back, just upper back. It's safe. It's comforting. Oh, it's kind of like leading them into the yeah. thing. That, yeah, that's like not like that's touch, but you want mutual touch. So it's like hand games. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like oh, and then once they're in the door, take their hand on your. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that coming. I was wait, I was so excited. <laughs> All right, oh, the good old hand. But in, rea <laughs> in reality, in reality, you need to establish touch barrier. So I like to yeah. like look at something on their hand, a ring, a nail. Let me see that. Like, like, oh, you just got these done. I like these. This mm -hmm. looks good on you. And you're holding their hand to look at it. Mm -hmm. And then when you're holding it, make it a little joke. You're like holding their hand for a reason. And then you just go like this. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling that? Are you in love? Like, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it, a, you know, be a little, be a little flirty, pl like playful. But you need to like establish that she wants to touch you like in a way first you know what i mean like mm. don't try to 
<laughs> so then it's pretty it's pretty even before you get to your house you gotta figure that yeah, out i'll do that at dinner or the bar or wherever you are first even at your house like playing the drinking game do that mid drinking game drinking mm. game is a good good thing to be doing what's, while you break that touch barrier but what's a good drinking game a simple one never know? have i ever she just said never ever we, oh. there's also we're not really strangers oh like you game, have that yeah, yeah. if Wait, you have that played, uh, we're not really strangers Oh, yeah. that's a if you have a drinking card game, truth that's or drink, probably truth or drink. Yeah, yeah okay. Like if you don't have a card game, but set, set it up. Have yeah. a, have some games ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. She's like, I want risk. Yeah. You're like, no, 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 no. Let's play truth or drink. She's like, risk. <laughs> <laughs> What's Fuck. risk? Monopoly. Yeah, no, risk is a hella hard strategy <laughs> yeah. game. It takes like four days. Oh. <laughs> risk is- they have, a, they, have a fun, <laughs> they, have a, they have a fun game. It's like this blue thing and it has like all the letters in the alphabet and then there's like a, a card that you pick and it's just like name a fruit, right? And then you just pick, you guys go around, oh, right? I think I know and what it's you're just like about. name a fruit. Oh, I need uh, to pick some letter. S, you, you press the S and you're, you're like strawberry. Yep, yep. You press the D and you're like durian. You know what I mean? Mm. And then- Show this on TikTok? Yes. I also yeah, My brother has the game, but it's really fun. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking I should bring it. Bring it, yeah. And then we should play for original comedy. content. That's for something for us to play. If to yeah, play yeah. with the girl you just brought over, do not yeah, play yeah, that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I love games. I would be like very. No, nah, you gotta play a game to get to know each other, not not know. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, but, yeah, you drink, but you drink. But but you sip on the seltzer. No, but then or you're just needlessly getting <laughs> yeah, drunk. Like there's no learning and about you're just each playing other. Playing a game. Yeah. It's like no, how do you no, build like how do you build the tension? Laughter is what. Like dis- like the tension disappears. I agree with that. And like when you laugh, you're just like, dude, what the heck was that? You know, like dude, I'm not laughing at like- oh durian. <laughs> 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 no, why why you, did you say? If, <laughs> if you if you have a crush on someone, I, I feel like, <laughs> you guys, if you have a crush on someone, anything you say is kind of funny or amusing. <laughs> hey, that game hey, we're trying to give them the best option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I'm, I don't think that's the that's, best. That's path like a harder why for a All beginner. Right, it's like yeah. it's like yo, get to the easier. All right, never have I ever then. Make Drinking game plus like established <laughs> touch barrier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> what, what color is your? Hit <laughs> 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 that <boy. laughs> Your pussy. Hey, Ian, uh, Ian, describe Ian, it. You you recently have been on dates, no? Yes. How did you establish? T- how did you make the first move Wait, on, on your? Dates? Oh wow, nice. You've been getting more play than me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he has. He's been a little. Recently, really, Damn, yeah. Yeah. Hey, but but how ha, have you been? Ha, you been helping him more? Yeah, not he, like he a, like helps me get, get get like get them to go on the date. Yeah, like yeah. up until leading up to the and date. And then I show up on the date and <laughs> yeah. I have, we have walkie talkies. He's plugged up and yeah. I'm like, no, I'm kidding. Like hold her hand, <laughs> compliment her nails, <laughs> punch her in the face. No, no, no. I meant. <laughs> can you give me like a waffle? Yeah. So, but the last date I went on, actually, it was like bottom, middle. Uh, it was like it was like actually super embarrassing because I I didn't break touch barrier for the entire date and then I was dropping. Wait, wait, her. Why? Why? What was the date? Were you at like dinner so the table was blocking you or? Uh, at first we were at dinner and then we like went to a. Park. Have you not? Has he not told you the first date? I told him the strategy, formula. He doesn't you care like about. The he doesn't care about it. <laughs> Sometimes the boy be hungry. Um. Anyway, so I didn't break the touch barrier for the whole day and then at the end of the day we were saying goodbye and like. I don't know. I went for a hug and she went for a kiss. And so we just like whiffed each other. And then, and then, no, it gets worse. And then I pull back and then I was like, uh, can I kiss you? And she was like, yes, duh. And then we kiss. <laughs> so, uh, Ian, Ian, when he was telling me this, I was like, damn, bro, you fumbled it every way you could. And she mm-hmm. just had to like come and be like, mm-hmm. it's kind of cute. Yeah, it's cute. Worked out. It worked end. out. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, in general, I tend to do better with girls who are like, Willing to make the first move and stuff like that. Uh, so this I, doesn't help us at all. Yeah, it's like you don't. That's very rare. Mm. No, I'm good. I'm good. But um, you've been going on a lot of dates. Wait, yeah. should we move this into bonus content? Oh yeah. Well, before Ian reveals too much about his personal life, we have a bonus content segment because we've been filming for hella long. And we didn't make sure that our paying customers on www. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. That was <laughs> my bad. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was like, what was that? Phlegm is like a thing, man. There's a phlegm buildup. I've been yapping. But uh, www.undertheinfluence.show, it's like our Patreon, basically. You can pay for membership where we post bonus content. And we have a lot of things that go on in our lives that we cannot share with the general public. So the most exclusive tea will drop on there. We'll play bonding games, uh, little exclusive vlogs of us Bondage going Bondage games. 
Little exclusive vlogs of us going out to eat. Dollar store therapy where we answer questions fans submitted from you guys. But we prioritize the community in www.undertheinfluence.show. And remember, if you are in the bonus content platform, you cannot snitch. Stop snitching because I'll yeah. be seeing y'all snitching it in the us, comments. It gets us in trouble and it makes us not excited to share this. There are story. like... 30 women in my life that hate me now because yes. of comments that you guys have left. Yeah, let's let's try to be like, you know, very... Anyway, Yeah, you yeah. guys are like a good friend to us. You know, would a good cut. friend write us out? No. Yeah, yeah stop all right, doing let's dive in. Shit. Let's dive in. I want to hear the story that Vid had in Ian's story. All right, well, let's finish up with Ian. Ian. Oh, right, it's going to... Right here. No, no, no. Let's like we'll we'll put a little bit of Ian's story in oh, there. Okay, I guess. okay. What were you? What was the continuation? No, no, no. The ending was the story. He completed the story. He got the kiss. Okay. Now I'm, I'm like, you've been going on a lot of dates. Oh, you've been you've been a bad boy. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I've learned from my mistakes. I no longer uh, abuse he, he her doesn't, He doesn't hide anymore in the mm -hmm. closet. No, but you know what? I feel I like see, the, I built a little trap door. Yeah, <laughs> I feel know. like the thing is, I've been spoiled like by past boyfriends. I, I had this entitled mindset, you know, where Whoa. I'm just like... <laughs> you always say things in a way. No, that, no, that, no, like, it was like wrong. It, no, no, it was, it was wrong. <laughs> No, 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 we're, we're honestly, no, listen, we play hand cack every night. <laughs> listen, 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 I've it's always your seen, favorite game. Oh my God. I've always seen my, my ex is lower than me for him. He's like on my same, the same level uh -huh. and, and, and I respect him uh -huh. like the other exes. I didn't, I, respect. I, I didn't respect. So you walked so, all over them and they let you walk all over them. Yes. yes. And so, and I felt That's this. That's a real man. And, then, and so I felt this entitlement and, and I think that uh, I let that get to me. And now. Well, he that's very self-aware of you. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't let me do that. So yeah. now I'm, I'm. We're proud of you, Jeremy, because I totally thought you were letting her do that. I'm not going to lie yeah. <laughs> No. Oh, we, oh, we battled behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we I do. Like... And then most, I think recently, most of the time I'm the one like, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. Well. As it should be. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, now, now, yeah, now with that, now I'm gonna get my <laughs> peak. <laughs> Thanks. Goodbye, guys. We will see you right here next week. Next time, I have two black guys. And it's like <laughs> I fell down the stairs. It's like you don't have I'm stairs. I'm gonna show a picture of Vid and Wu Time. Like these are your gods. <laughs> <laughs>Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Neck Your Hard Seltzer. seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.